Do you have prep sheets? Um, oh, we just have popcorn. That was his prep sheet today. Uh, the Yak. Promo code Yak. Roback.com. Use it right now. 20% off your first purchase. Q-Zips, polos, joggers, and shorts. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing some. Oh, perfect. Rico's got it on right now. Rico's got it. I'm wearing some joggers right now. Shorts are out. Uh, go to roback.com. Use code YAK. 20% off your first purchase. The most comfortable clothes in the world. Roback.com, our wonderful presenting sponsor. Hello, everyone. It's Popcorn Day. Popcorn yes. Day. Rico is here. Let's go. AB is here. Now, Popcorn Day. Give me a, a brief explanation. It's where we eat popcorn. So Rico sat down and was like, is this one of the, cause, and, and this is totally fair on Rico's part, uh, because we do do very stupid things on this show. He's like, is this one of those things where we got to put everything in the thing? I was like, no, it's a Stephen Che challenge, so it's as simple as it could be. Mm-hmm. Everyone has to eat a bucket of popcorn. The last person to finish their popcorn has to eat a second bucket of popcorn. There's the second bucket That's over there. It. I don't think Che has ever... I don't think Che can make a twist. No. Chubby Checker would hate him. You know what, though? <laughs> In all seriousness, that's a pretty good twist that you got to eat another one. Mm. You think that's a good twist? Uh, the twist of popcorn is more popcorn? Yeah. Oh, no, the twist. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you what, what a you twist get. is. Let me show you what a twist is. We eat, Everyone eats the popcorn, and then the person who finishes last has to eat another uh, popcorn, and the person who finishes first... Has to put their dick in it while they eat it. Yes, yeah. that's, that's that's a, a twist. The old the old movie. Oh, do you want to finish first? It's in a movie. No. Yeah, it is. Diner. Great movie. Great movie. Do you want to finish first and have your dick dick touched, or maybe finish second? That's really the sweet spot. <laughs> Brandon, why's your leg look going like that? Brandon, said I love the way popcorn feels on my dick. <laughs> what? To be quite honest, I can't say what you. You say can say, it. but you're gonna make fun of it, and this is. Uh, I, Okay, can I just say it? It's not making fun of it. He said he has a train to catch today, which is still an hour and a half from now. So he's anxious. Popcorn? You better work. You have an hour. I My girl has a softball game at 4. The only way to, for me to All make right. it is get on the 239 out of you Penn look, Station. If I don't get on 239, I'm not going to make it. What did I say? When you when you said that to me, what did I say? You said better eat your popcorn. Yeah. And if y'all, if y'all throw any, any obstacles in front of me. I'm not going to make my girl softball. For your family, I didn't then. say I was going to rain. I just said right. better eat your popcorn. It's not raining right now. It's going to rain. You'll be all right. Is it going to rain? Mm-hmm. This Why is also, got so much popcorn? This is not a nine to five. Well. You knew what you, knew what you were signing up for. All right. What I'm do you think? my popcorn. It's a 24-7 gig. What are you thinking about Mincy? You know, it's. Uh, Quite something. It's just, can you trust a people with a little bit of spotlight on them with a little bit of sunshine you know the guy the guy runs a 10k raises so much money for charity and lets it go immediately to his head and he he ruins he ruins everything i can't believe he didn't well no that. but he does three live shows a week so at least two of the wake up mincy's this week were live right i hope you're sitting down oh no what there were only two Mincy's live Mincy's this week, and only one of them was live. Oh no. oh no, Steven, you kind of are complicit in this crime. Did you tell him, "Hey, dude, this is a bad idea. Let's wake up with Mincy, not go to bed with Mincy." No, I didn't know that. He said I was going to be on for like five minutes, so I said, "Hey, can we pre-tape this? Because I have an appointment this morning. I'm not going to be." Wait, it was your idea? Don't do that. He mentioned that he has a thing today, like a wedding or whatever. I'm already over the popcorn sound in my ear. The chewing. It's, oh, he's, it's, it's I'm chewing, I'm he's chewing eating steak. a brownie. Oh, I think that's steak okay. over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's that's different. Do you think challenge? it's going to be a terrible sound? It's going to be the worst thing in the entire world, and it's going to put me into an autistic fit. Okay. Yeah. Is there ways that we could get, like, two people talking, everybody eating? Switch. Two people talking, everybody eating. Switch. You know what I mean? Eat I like in two-minute shifts or some shit like that? Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to just uh, save the listener, but that was unbearable with Stephen Che. That was the worst thing I've Sorry, ever heard. Sorry, that was steak. Why don't we just have why don't we just have one person go at a time? It should probably take no more than well, it should toast. probably take no more than fifteen minutes to eat a tub of popcorn, I would think. Okay. I'm sorry. Fifteen minutes? Yeah, I think eat that's a tub fair. of popcorn? If you're trying to eat it? How long are movie previews? I've gotten to the bottom of the book. Okay, but we gotta do it in a way that we don't know the the time. So TJ, oh. can we have can one of us sit in one of these studios? I will s- swap my position yes. for someone outside of this room. No, no, no. Uh, uh, that, that I kind of need to, yeah. What? I would like to. What are you saying right now? I don't think I can eat all this. 
What? <laughs> well, don't you? Don't you, you have a plate I of want, steak. I don't think I want to eat all this popcorn. Yeah, you just yeah, you just ate lunch. That's steak. That's uh, it's just meat. That's just meat. Dude, the thing is, you have to eat the. Popcorn. Uh, okay. I'll yeah. All right. So so let's just have TJ have one of the people go in. To one of these studios. Size. Studios. What if we just eat logical popcorn? Why are we? Oh, no, 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 look, watch, Stephen, go in there right now and start eating your popcorn, and then we'll have you in the bottom right. What do you mean? We're, 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 why are we just eating the popcorn while doing the show? Because Nick is going to go into an autistic fit. I'm going to go into an autistic. Me too. Fit. I'm do it anyway. Right, Brandon, you go in. No, I don't want to go in. I want to be in. here with my boys eating popcorn. We'll start eating this popcorn. I'll put it on a clinic. Uh, have you guys? Have you guys seen Jerry tweeting through it right now? Yeah, that's pretty funny. What happened? Jer- He's got his wisdom teeth taken out. Jerry turned to me yesterday at at noon and was like, "Hey, I need my wisdom teeth out. Do you think if I get them out at three p.m., I'll be good for the draft?" That's <laughs> like, and uh, and he he's doing it like raw. Yeah, he's tweeting through it right now. He's just tweeting random shit. Oh, I think he had man. the laughing raw. gas or whatever. Yeah, laughing gas. Damn. Yeah, he was like putting some kind of aura gel on yesterday or something. What did you wisdom teeth? What's up, Stephen? What do you? What's the problem? Part of the popcorn, salt it. All right, so this is very easy. Steven, you go sit in that room. TJ, you put him in the lower lower portion. TJ, you keep the time. Don't tell us the time. But won't we be able to figure it out just by seeing who goes in the room? Shouldn't multiple people go in the room at the same time? Sure. <coughs> you you want to go in the room, go in the room. So okay, why don't we two do people. Two? All right. And that way we'll know officially, like, there's no way to fudge who's the loot. Like, one person, obviously. Right, and TJ will keep the time. <coughs> that work? Yeah. No sound. That was for the listeners right there. We did that for the listeners. <clears throat> really Since Kyle's doing it, do I have to do this? It's usually no, you don't. usually a duo. Just one of the two of you. Have. Yeah. How did you how did you think the draft show went? I had a blast. It was awesome. If you know what I mean. I didn't realize you were drinking. Yeah, I was having a good time. I I Every time I've just had a good time doing the draft show, it's just fun talking about the draft. I just love ball so fucking much, yeah, dude. I love sports. I love football. I love my team getting new players. I love the process of scouting shit. I love looking up players. I love watching fucking YouTube full game highlights of players. I love the process. I could do it every year. And the Eagles just keep getting... They they, just, they destroyed the draft. Keep getting dogs. Old dogs. Yeah. Fucking exciting. Jordan Ooh. Davis last year. Jordan Davis last year. 4.7 like A40. Jalen Carter this 340 year. 340 pounds, 6'6". Six six. Crazy, right? Whoa. Crazy. See, he loves it too. He loves the process. Oh, wow, you did that whole analysis of him, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Play that. Play. Kyle loves doing analysis, and he just doesn't put them out. Yeah, just for you. I like doing like a commentary voice. Yeah. Like commentary humor. In the cadence of a commentator, mm-hmm. Bob Mennery. Mm-hmm. Not like him. No, no, just like Bob Mennery. Without being a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> what are they fighting um, about now? He's fighting. Steven and Brandon. What's the plan? They're going to go in there and eat? Yeah. And it. figure out how long it is? Yeah. I thought we all do it. All right. You want? I don't care how we do this. This is Steven's show. We challenge. just got to get this fucking. All right, thing. just oh, tell Steven. Steve. Oh, we're going. All right, they're going. Perfect. TJ, start the timer. Are we That's going? No, we're not. No, going. they're saying we can't go. Maybe let's just go. Yeah. We're building ramps for the. <laughs> let's just go. All right, KB, you don't have to eat. You don't have to eat it, but you have to talk the whole time. <laughs> okay. you know, All right. Dude. If you do a spoil for you, I'm gonna fucking eat it. They're gonna come back and they're like, "Wait, you guys been eating this the whole time?" I'm per- I'm content with just like a couple pieces. If you this don't eat either, it might be bad. <laughs> Yeah, his. <laughs> I look at this. I was a last minute add to the thing, so now I'm just trying to win. Mm-hmm. I don't need to talk much. If you come in last, like if you don't eat it, then you just don't eat the second one. <laughs> yeah, I eat both. This is a really dumb challenge by Stephen. Was it even a challenge, or did he just want popcorn? Yeah, this is. <laughs> I think just want to eat all of us eat popcorn. No, let's let's give him what he wants. AB, you have KB's Wild. That was a huge success, and Steven's got popcorn. That's that's our two big. That's our two big ones. Man. My hands are so buttery. What do you think? Where do you think Mincy goes from here? David has a meeting with Erica. Whether they should pull the the whole show. No. Dude can't wake up. He did just, immediately text me and said he could call and explain himself if he wanted. 
We don't want to hear explanations. Yeah, I said, no. aren't you at me a, and uh, goes, hey, dude, I saw friend. the blog. I'm in my best friend's wedding. I said, what blog? I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> the Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> what blog was he even talking about? I don't know, man. He must have Did you blog something? No, I was driving. All right, we should call him. I don't know. Somebody had something geared up. I think, I, no, because I bet you he's gone through all the, you know, it's. he's just a mouthpiece for, like, probably a PR firm. They'd probably talk to a crisis manager. We're not going to hear the actual Mincy. I can't. He just has to get up. Why can't we just Waking have. Up. Why can't we hire someone else to be there to wake him up and just have a camera on him to wake him up? Yeah. Why not like make that. more jobs? I feel like he's a job creator at this point. He'll do the dozen from a coffee shop. Why can't he do it from his. Wake up Mincy from his gate? I have literally woken up for over 10,000 days in a row. Yeah. Think about that. He can't even do that. Think about that. Yeah. 10,000 days in a row. I, I haven't. What? I don't know. It just sounded good. 10,000 yeah, 10, checks. I would say checks. more than that. 10,000 definitely checks. You got to talk in the mic if you're going to talk. Right. 365 times 30 is at least nine grand. Am I doing that right? What's a... How long is a million seconds? I'm almost at... I'm, I'm over 13... I'm almost 14,000 days woken up in a row. I'll give you this. Rowan. How many seconds in a year? Mm. Should know this. 525,600 minutes. Oh, oh, fuck. My bad. So times 60. What no. are we, what no. are we, oh, that was a question. I would have clowned you if you were right. <laughs> now, Roan. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> I love rent. You know who also likes rent? Buddha Ben. And Nick Stad. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah, good music. He relates. Buddha Ben is uh, he's a aficionado of Broadway. He loves Broadway. Does he? I can't with Broadway, bro. A million seconds really? is only 11 and a half days. Go to Broadway a lot. I would have guessed 30 years. I have, I've only been once since I've been in New York. I went recently, I though. I thought you went. I, I went to, oh. I went to, I tried it out. I was like, what could it, how, could it be so bad? And it, it is. Yeah. It is. They're it's, fake. You know they're faking, right? Yeah. And then They're you, not actually, they're, they're just faking the entire you time. You can barely hear them. The second movie started to be a thing, play should have stopped. Yeah. That's how technology works. I'm disappointed in you guys. Oh God! I heard, oh no! Uh oh! He, he's not. No, I'm not ready for him. Give him five minutes. He can hit the snooze. Yeah. What else should should have stopped? Like uh, it's it's unbelievable. The telegram stopped when the phone was invented. When bicycles were invented, we should have stopped walking. Are you guys? What the fuck? We can't go to the moon anymore. Right? Wait. What? Have you seen this? No. Wait. So, what do you think about people who who insult new inventions? Then, like we have a if you have a dishwasher and you still hand wash your dishes, slap in the face. Exactly. That's what I say. Interesting. It's bullshit. Why that do you want to stunt dishes? human progression? Why would you want a blowjob if you have a flashlight? Yeah. Women. Uh, uh, until women get a new mouth, then I'll stop getting blowjobs. Mm-hmm. Women are about to be out of business. Yeah, we're putting women out of business. This sucks. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even made a dent, and I'm all, I probably sound disgusting on the mic. Like, I like popcorn, and it's just not fun. No. <laughs> it's it's the, horrible for a show. Everything's a sabotage. This is what they want, though. They want respective wheel. This is respective wheel. Yeah, they are. Um, You're so right. They want us to respect the wheel, and then they get mad. Yeah. Oh, we can't are go they to the watching moon? us now? Yeah. What are they... I don't really fuck with those two anymore. No, I don't oh. like either of them. Uh, we we just can't go to the moon. We can't, or we won't. Like Japan tried and they failed, and I guess what? The, the Is that true? They got that, robot dogs. Well, the technology was so Please. different back then that we would have to like it would be compl- a completely different process, and it's so much. It takes so much like manpower and resources. From what I saw. Wait. The robot dog in a fire the other day. No way. You st- what? Robot dog in a fire. What happened? Take pictures. Like it wasn't. It's not putting out the fire, but they take pictures and shit. Shouldn't they put out the fire instead of taking pictures of it? After. Oh. Probably look cool though. Probably good ass photos. Assess a collapse because you don't want to send guys up there. Is what it is. I was thinking you send the robot dog in while the fire's going on. Be like, yep, that's a person. <laughs> <laughs> They're not moving. Eliminate. <laughs> Oh, we accidentally sent the evil robot dog to this fire. 
Should we just pour out half of our popcorn and just lie to those guys? Like dump it all. Got to respect the, chat, the wheel, man. Would the chat be cool with that? I think no. I'm, I'm. I think I'm angling for the loss, and I'm just gonna kind of yak, try and do a lot of yakking, see who the let, let the best man win, angle for the loss, and then just have popcorn, kind of graze on popcorn over the next six or seven hours of my life. Yeah. I feel so like that's it's slowest has to do a second one, right? Yeah. Yes. So have we all just agreed to not finish? In oh. Time? And then we all tied for. Yeah, let's all cross the finish line at the same time. And we don't we'll have to race. We'll do a piece we just a have minute. to not be last. So if we're all, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if we're all, if we all DNF, then we don't have to do it. Someone's gonna win. Yeah, I want to put my dick. Wait, but if wait, no wait. one loses, there's wait. no prize for winning. There's no prize for winning. If we all did not finish, wouldn't one of those two idiots be the last person? How does it work? We withdraw. We withdraw. How can we make them lose? I just know yeah, Rico's I don't in know. it to win it. I know Rico is. I think is we like, would need like a cancellation and who's ever. How does it work in golf? If you withdraw like, in golf, who's technically the last place person? You look that up? We got to find some sport where it's applicable. Maybe NASCAR. Some, if you crash or some, some shit. Some technicality. Yeah, like what's the NASCAR rule? So if we are, what if we get thrown out of the game? What if we. So they're the only two participating, so Che will come in last. Right. What if we no, we're bump into each other and wait, are they watching us? Yeah. 100%. Think so? Unless they're watching a film. Yeah, I mean, they're eating popcorn. They're probably watching a movie. They're not they're talking. watching a nice film. Rent, Philadelphia. Die what hard. if, like, Nick, you and I accidentally bumped into each other and we happened to spill our popcorn everywhere? We have to withdraw. You'd have to get your wife to come pick it up. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, my kids watch. <laughs> Thanks, Reek. Yeah, we could just spill it. Because I've made no progress. No, dude. Chad has to hate this too, right? What's the chat saying, Ooh, TJ? Um, why is Reek on the show? They're, uh, they're with you guys. Like, to stop? Popcorn wild, dump it out. Okay. Dump half, eat some. Oh, shit. Oh, KB's dis disqualified. He, he spilled his popcorn. Dude. So he, he's out. So can you update a leaderboard, please? Oh, man. TJ? Oh, man. Dan, I told you to do the don't. I'm not doing what was me. But if you guys all, like, just withdraw, and I'm in this potential where I am trying to win, and Brandon does beat me, I'm going to get fucked. Yeah. Oh, no, listen. KB's officially out. I'm, fuck, yeah. He's been disqualified so that he doesn't have to finish. Well, there's a fucking hair in mine. I'm not eating oh, this. Oh, yeah. Who's it? Who's it? I don't know. Nick, let me come see your hair. Here, stand up. Look at this. There's like. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's really oh, bites. Please, bites. Oh, fuck, Nick. All I right. really wanted to finish that book. Okay, Rico, we're on. Fuck! <laughs> Are you gonna, gonna come back in? It's gonna be popcorn everywhere. It's like, so hey, Rico, Rico, dump, dump yours, dump yours. Come on, come on. <laughs> All over. Throwing it throw it in the air. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Roan. Oh, come on, dude. No, Roan! <laughs> Stay strong together. Come on, dude. It only works if we're all together. It's like an ancient phalanx. I could be him. I could be him. No, come on, Rico. We could beat him. But it doesn't matter. Right, if, you don't, if you don't dump, you have if to you win. If you don't beat him, it doesn't matter. I don't want. I want to put my dick in his popcorn. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Win. We'll talk. You yeah. Go hard. Boys, we have the numbers. It's four of us. Stay strong together. Right. Yeah, we're staying strong. I we'll can't believe we, did. Nick. I didn't see you there. Yeah, I'm mad. At, I'm legitimately mad at you. We're in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have uh, some extra. You want me to bring it to you, Nick? <laughs> yeah. These aren't. I. Uh, my. These are not working. Yeah, so you know what? Go stand up and run right into the wall with your popcorn in your hand. He's going one piece at a time. That's interesting is the one piece well, at a time. Yeah, oh, shit. Rico. He's got an extra. Stand up, Rico. Watch out, TJ. Oh! 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 His shirt got stuck on the hand on the floor. Oh! <laughs> no! no! Rico, dump it, dump it, dude. <laughs> Come on, Rico. Come on, Rico, it already is going to suck for us that we have to clean all this up. Yeah. Join the party. 
Like, we're all going to have to clean this up. What's one more bucket? Come on. Yeah. Rico can do it, though. I believe uh, in Rico. You're on the sunk cost fallacy. Just give up. No, he Max, can do it. Max. <laughs> you check. I, I needed something for PMT. Uh, check your phone. Go birds. Go birds. Go birds. Rico, wait, beat these beat these bastards. My mouth is done. I need you want me to go throw a wrench in their shit? Should I tell them like five minute timeout or something? No, 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 no. no. They should just keep going because they're gonna come back in. My coke guy's coming. Sorry. Oh, what? Um, yeah. A cola. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to eat any more popcorn. All right. Yeah, Max, do that for me real quick. Ah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes! Thank you, Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> oh. Not Rico. Can we, yeah, can we throw it at each other? Or Not Rico. I put a one. Rico. Rico thinking. All right. Kyle, are you sure you want to yeah, do that? Now you're oil, with us. Oil on now that you're with us. Piece? We all got disqualified. Yeah, but I got you. You got. F- I think. Well, if you want to eat more, you can you eat guys more. guys did your thing, and then I still would have beat him. He would have yeah, So eat more if you want to. Well, we don't know what. I don't want to eat any more than I don't have to. I'm having some. I'm just having some floor popcorn. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this could be great when they walk back in. <laughs> so keep eating. But we wanted to start yakking. That's the biggest yeah, problem. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Talking while eating it's is impossible. impossible. <laughs> can I uh can I talk about graphic design for a second? Yeah, it's your passion. It is. Um, can we pull up the thumbnail from the draft show yesterday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please. Oh, I actually would love to do that. So I was I was in one of the Red Blazers. I, I the the I was the least part of the show and, and one of the Red Blazer men. I love that Brandon and Jack are gonna eat all. I know they're gonna eat all the corn. This actually turned out to be the best possible scenario yeah, how of fa- all. How fast are they? Gonna now be? I get that you had to make Will and Will and Roan enormous. Uh, so yeah, there is no room for me in the thumbnail, right? Because you have to make Roan and Will gargantuan. <laughs> Bad, bad picture, too. I love that photo of you. It breaks my heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a good picture of you, Roan. So we need giant Will, we need giant Roan, and then little Brandon, little Che. That was all the room that was allocated. Right. Well, just five faces, like, it's super confusing for the... Um, and we do all look at I mean, look at the rough and rowdy... I'm actually not not mad about that. I just want to show that picture of uh, Roan. Oh, that's so <laughs> fucked up. Fuck you. By the way, you know what we should do? We should offer... Whoever finishes last between Brandon and Che, you don't have to eat the second bucket. You just have to clean all of this. Yeah. They're going to just opt to eat the second bucket. You think so? Not They're Brandon. He's got a, he's got a trade to catch. Yeah, but oh, glad he's got a curl here. Another one? Yeah, no, that one's really Glennie, um, I had an interesting conversation with Glennie the other day. He was, he was like, I, I'm thinking about moving to Nashville. Yeah, that's where he belongs. But then I was like, so what are you going to do there? And he's yeah. like, well, I'll live in Nashville and then I'll come back like once a, once a month for a week and, and do all my interviews and do all my work and then I'll go back to Nashville. Oh, he wasn't talking about doing his interviews there? No, and I was like, so so you're just going to like do three-week vacations every month? Essentially. <laughs> and it, it just stopped him in his tracks. He was like, uh... It's like just tighten that, <laughs> tighten that idea up, and maybe yeah. we can. No, he you know, worded maybe it, it makes wrong. Makes sense. Like if we could figure out something in Nashville. Yeah. Just outright admit, like I'd go to Nashville. I wouldn't be doing my job while I'm in Nashville, but I'll be living in Nashville. Yeah, there's ways to get around that. Yeah. yeah he could definitely he could come up. Easily with pull it off. Just don't say that. You, you just say gotta it? go down there and rent a kitchen. Yeah. Bring back booze and burgers. Yeah. How do you say it? diaspora? Mm. Diaspora. Diaspora. Uh, There's that? about to be a barstool diaspora. So? People are just going to going places. People are just trying to like go go to. Who a was the first city. person to Random do it? Ones. Huh? Who was the first person to do it? Like with Caleb? Caleb. Uh, Sam. Diaspora. Then Caleb. Then Riggs. Sam? Yeah, he oh, went to Scottsdale. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot your on first name basis. He cried last night yeah. on the phone with him. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, he didn't want the Cardinals straight down. God damn. Is he the- rooting for the Cardinals now? Yeah. Arizona guy. Who else was in the diaspora? Who else fucking fled? Mm. Um, Is it a diaspora or a white flight? Uh, wh- yeah. yeah, white flight. It's a little bit of a white flight. Um, Yeah, so Riggs. Jordy. I guess Frankie did go to Long Island, or Trent went to Long Island. That yeah. Was kind of far. 
Caleb, Jeff D. Uh, Jeff D's going to be out of here. He's going to di- diaspora out somewhere. Coley. Coley. Yeah. Jer- Jared was actually the first. Jared, yeah. 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 That, was, was the the that was a baller move. It was. He was part of White Fight. He was. Yeah, man. People fucking r- running from the hustle. Can we listen to what they're listening to, TJ, real quick? People run from the grind. Or no? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. Hardcore porno. You think he's making a dent? They're both going to come back and be like, all right, next stop. <laughs> so great. <laughs> so whoever comes in second loses. This yeah, is, this of the two of them. Even, this is why Rico, you can't have popcorn in your hand when they come in. They really wanted to do this. We uh, is Brandon coming? Oh no! What's he doing? What's Brandon's going to come in and say he's going to come in and say, uh, oh, uh, "Imagine that." Don't he's not going to be. He's not going to be surprised. And yeah, obviously, Jay will say fair. <laughs> he is surprised visibly. He's been doing this surprise gesture. <laughs> oh, no, oh he's I was mad. very wrong. He's, he's storming off. Jay. He just stormed at Jay. He said, "Jay, get your ass in here." Look. Oh, oh he's, tell- <laughs> he's showing Jay. Oh, I feel so. Like first, first one. Oh, oh Jay's he's distraught. Really upset. Uh, he's really, really upset. I feel. I feel so feel bad. horrible. We can explain. I, this. We can explain. We can explain. We can explain. explain this. Jay, sit down in in, in sass. Don't step on the popcorn. Oh. Don't, don't step on the popcorn. You're we can explain fucking... this. We can explain this. We can explain this. So, KB is very clumsy. He accidentally knocked over his popcorn. Nick and I. I didn't see him turn in the corner. We hit each other. Mm-hmm. Max ripped the popcorn out of Rico's hands. And Roan, what? Roan, here. Roan, Roan, there is a gun. Roan's so hammered, he just dropped his popcorn. I was, uh, I was, boys, thoughts? Why is Roan hammered? I mean, this is between you guys and the wheel. Yeah, no, no, we know, but we, so we all got disqualified. So it's uh, whoever comes in first between the two of you wins. Yeah, and then the other person has to do the... Do you want to oh! bring, bring Glenny's model in here and see if she notices the popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> you think she'll notice? How do you have my... You uh, didn't go for my popcorn. I was going to win. I don't think we can have that. Oh. oh. Come on, Reek. I mean, oh. You got it. You could use it. Just put it in a different put container. Um, put it in one of these massive empty popcorn containers. Yeah. Who beat me right now? Who is? You better hurry up, because then you got to eat another popcorn. So the issue we realized was uh, this is a talk show. Yes. And popcorn. Wait a minute. Why are we still eating, Steven? Why are we still eating? For the love of the game, brother. Oh, no, <laughs> Steven. Look at me. They have yeah. trashed all the popcorn. And oh, we got hit. And we're still competing like idiots. This is a Just very big it. moment. Right oh, Steven oh! finished last. Uh, physiological sigh. Steven finished last. At last. Popcorn. I actually dropped it. You got to eat, too. Fucked up. Actually, Brandon, yours la- still landed upwards. Yours is still good. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad because at the core, Stephen just wanted to be like do a friendship thing. Yeah, well, they're all do this together. See, we had a good time. Tone. Tone. See that? What tone. were you watching? Oh, we were watching the top hundred plays of 2022 for NFL football. Ooh. Oh, oh. Any good ones that you had forgotten about? You want to go back and finish it? I mean, we can. I don't care. We don't have to be here. Yeah, why don't you guys go finish it? Pick up your popcorn. You got to finish it, and then. Brandon, you just spilled so much popcorn. You have to clean all of this up. <laughs> we didn't spill any. Well, you've already told me that no, no, no. Kyle, Kyle got it, it was clumsy, and then Ron is hammered, and then somehow Max took took Rico's. Do I look? What happened to yours? Hammered? What happened Uh-oh. to yours and Nick's? Uh, me and Nick ran into shit. You want to play this? You can play it. It happened on the act. Okay, what was what was going through your head? What was your mindset when you came in and saw the the popcorn everywhere? Disappointment. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you still. Steven, the problem is we couldn't eat. talk while we were. Popcorn. We were trying to talk while we were eating. We started eating it. So we, when you guys went in there, we're like, this is dumb. Let's also eat. We all ate like a quarter of our popcorn. And we realized we can't talk while we're eating popcorn. Wait, why'd you guys eat a quarter? Just, it was, like was going to take forever. It's impossible to talk while eating popcorn. And it was going to take forever. Yeah. You guys started, and we're like, this is going to take forever. we got to start. I, I, the reason I was coming in here, I was going to tell you I'm only a quarter of the way through, and it's 20 minutes in. That's how much popcorn I eat. This looks like a United flight in here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at See? Oh, no. oh fell into each Where other. Where even going, though? Wait, he was really going to show by me. Rico, you he dog. had a hair in his popcorn. Where were you going? Oh, Why would you walk I had out? a hair in my popcorn, and Big Cat was like, show me. Is it might be mine. Kyle? 
Yeah, Kyle. Kyle. I think his foot. I think he he has a spasm, of some sort. Qualified. He, yep. He's see, he's disqualified. Dude. So he, he's out. So can you update a leaderboard? Is he visibly uh, upset, Rone. trying to get on it to pieces? It's on accident. He was trying to flip it back on the right side, and then Roan also had an accident. What are the odds of that many accidents? I got struck by lightning, bro. I fucking it's in God's hands now, bro. I throw oh, everything on, out the window. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> it looks like Benny the Bull was in here today. It, it only works if we're all together. It's like an. I think you might have been able to do it. And then Rico, this was like oh. you would have been up against the clock. You guys were not making it. Rico got attacked. Minutes was too fast. Yeah, Rico got attacked. Yeah. I mean, oh shit. I was committed. Rico. He's got an extra. Stand up, Rico. Watch out, TJ. Oh! oh! Yeah, TJ spilled. Oh, so TJ sure got stuck on the handle. Yeah, oh! sure got stuck. <laughs> Look at, he's laughing. It's funny. He likes that mess. Yeah, man. <laughs> he's got, uh, no, he's laughing at me because oh. the devils oh. have come back in that series. This might be the best gauge of guy I would like to hang out with if they come in and smirk at this big mess. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, they're like, look at you guys. <laughs> you can't go outside. You're going to attract popcorn. At least scrape your bottom of your feet There's off. There's Max. See? Max just ripped Rico's out. Scrape it wasn't Rico's your, fault. Use your hands. Right. Yeah, Max, do that for me real quick. Oh, no. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Thanks. Yes! Anyway, you could have seen that coming. Oh. Listen, the wheel might get us, Steven, but it was just, it was a very hard thing to do while talking. Yeah. That's okay. I still got my popcorn. <laughs> the pop so you're saying the popcorn wheel could have just been us buying you popcorn. No, it would have been a fun thing to do together. Maybe like off, ca off like show, and we just... Uh, Silently sit in a room and all eat together. Right. Or we all go see a movie. Oh, oh what? Um, what did you just say? Go see a movie. They're like um, crazy. like a oh, book yeah. when like they act out a book on uh, a and film it. Bringing that back. That almost ruined your life, that room. <laughs> yeah. <when we> started. <laughs> yeah. Did you you How did that take did you off? Did mad at that? Yeah. No. no. There was like a minute just because, what was it? Oh, there was like one time where someone said something and I chimed in and, and both Nick and KB were like, You've never seen that. And I was like, God damn it, you got me. But then after that, I was fine. But then you're there was for one, a while. Yeah, there was mo one moment where I was legitimately mad because like, they figured out a way that I can never talk about never. movies again. It's fun <laughs> to talk about movies. Wait, let's see if Coleman likes his mess. He'll, he'll love it. I know he will. An old sailor. <laughs> don't, you, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Anybody see Air? What do you think of Air? Very good. No, no. Oh, no. stop yeah. it. I asked this question on the set yesterday. What do you think is the best opening scene to a movie ever? It's not debatable. Oh. My eyes. Joke. Uh, Dark Knight. That's certainly. Oh, that bank scene. Unbelievable. So the movie sucked, but the Wolverine, when him and his uh, brother were running through all the wars together, that was sick, but then the movie sucked. Captain Jack Sparrow coming in on that boat sinking. Saving Private Chills. Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Oh, that's yeah. the best. Fuck. Yeah. That's yeah. sad, though. It's 30 minutes of people dying. Yeah, but it's the best quality-wise. Like, it's incredible. Saving Private Ryan. I think you say, I think it's Toy Story 2 is a very good start. Uh, Heat is, would be my pick. That's, I think, the best bank robbery scene. How about Up? The opening scene. Oh, first 10 minutes of Up? Technically, that is Saving Private Ryan starts at the cemetery. Yeah, I, I, I wonder if that even counts for Saving Private Ryan. His hot daughter. Granddaughter. I didn't notice she was hot. I was paying respect to our country. No, I was. I noticed she was hot. That, I not noticing she's hot is actually paying the most respect to mm -hmm. our country. She's American. The fact that she exists is because of guys like that. Imagine all the hot girls that wouldn't have existed if we didn't beat the Nazis. Were y'all not going to tell us that you'd spilled the popcorn? Were no, we were hoping. We were hoping you were going to stay in there the whole time and then walk in and be like, "What the fuck? What were you in there watching?" Uh, the top hundred plays of the NFL season twenty twenty two. May I say something about that? I think last year was boring. Uh, Probably not a lot of good. I no, I mean, they were still great players. Titus has take Vikings Bills game. We had the same. Uh, yeah. the, the Dolphins Ravens game came up like five times. But it was the best plays. Yeah, just we long only got bombs to like long bombs. Sixty. Huh? We got forty in. We got about forty in. Yeah. It's delightful. The Patriots Raiders game that ending was pretty cool. What even happened? It's about the top what of was that? Ron, what happened they to that? Laddering. Oh was the yeah, one Max yeah. ripped out over there to your. To your left. Max ripped. That's Rico's. Yeah, I tried. I was. I was I committed. Back. Rico Hunter was chuffed. Um, because I thought it would have been that much more painful if they withdrew and somebody still beat you and you finished last. Steven, do we have prep sheets? I gotta do the Outback ad. Yeah, did I not give them you guys? No. This Outback steak is so good. So good. No, you've been crushing. Should we call Mincy? He's been on hold the whole time. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Mincy. We need to get Jay out of the room. How we doing, big cat? I'm to cut a hole in the bottom of that popcorn so when he picks up the new one, it all comes out of the box. Yes. Yes. We need to distract Jay. Uh, hold on. I'm going to put you on hold for a second. We'll be right back. Wait, which one is it? Get through that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cutting a hole in the bottom of the popcorn. <laughs> she picks it up. Now we can. We're good. We're good. <laughs> now move it towards the middle. Move it towards the middle. Oh, shit. I should have done that later. Yeah. What is this one? That's the one he's... Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Give him this one. Don't make it... Oh. No, 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 take take a bunch out. Oh, he'll know it's so oh, much. He'll more. know it's too much. Oh, okay. Come on, keep him out. Yeah, yeah. Where's Where's Brandon? Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Do we stall him? Yeah, yeah. Stand out there, just in case. Oh, this is great. No, no, you gotta move the other one. Move the other one. I actually like. Wait, how about this? He Come gets on. mad. Hold on. He's gonna be so sad. Hold on. He's gonna get mad that he loses that one. Put another full one with a full. <laughs> with a. We have one. We have another one. one. But fill it. Like I would have left it there full. This way he's like. Oh, did you just leave the bottom next to it? <laughs> the bottom one. <laughs> you gotta hide the other. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then we're gonna talk to Mincy. We have the ads. Mincy was on hold the whole time. Is he still there? Drop the maniac. <sighs> Thank you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> your, your real one's right there. Your real one's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, David, you suck like a leak. <laughs> How'd that happen, I mean, bro? Don't no lie, you like that. Oh, that was so fucking good. I love Popcorn Day. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, oh no! yeah. Oh, this is Benny the Bullshit. <laughs> of course it's not. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! <laughs> Popcorn day is amazing. I, I want to see. I want no, Rico. It's display. It? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Don't eat that. Oh, we spilled the popcorn. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God. How do we let this happen? <laughs> <laughs> This is, I would say right now, yeah. this is like the epitome of our relationship with Stephen Chet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like yeah. Stephen with- He absolutely had to do The that. kindest of hearts. <laughs> Everything. Being like, let's just be pals and us maybe lasting five minutes before we're like, ruin everything. What are we going to do on his bowling night? <laughs> oh, fuck. Holy shit. I'm going to fucking call it a bomb threat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was fun. It was. And the <laughs> the good thing about a yak like this is, as long as we go, we don't have to clean up. How do you even? Yeah, so <laughs> <he's> <laughs> going, yeah. This might be a twelve hour stream. How do you even begin <laughs> to clean this up? Oh, uh, I know. Broom and vacuum. Oh yeah, we start with broom and then we go vacuum. I'm Not, just, I think vacuums first. No, no, no you gotta get oh, the big ones. Big popcorn. Yeah. Just turn yeah. the rimbo on and then. I'm leave. just going full stew. Fine. Eat all Steven, you unintentionally made a great yak. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you you're see rich. him that picking was, that up that popcorn? <laughs> yeah, I want to see that again. He was How'd you do that? <laughs> a hole in the bottom. bottom. Use one of your knives? Oh, yeah. Just okay. needed a slight distraction for you for about 10 seconds. Mm. Well done. Bravo. Oh, my God. That was a, gen a look of genuine shock when that happened. Oh, the shock that you had when you first... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Your, your real one's right there. The your second one pours right out there. for so long. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Very slick by Rico to pick it up like that. <laughs> that, was, that was. I was pulled by oh, Still coming out. <laughs> what type of sorcery is that? Yeah. How'd that happen, I mean, bro? Great oh, job, Stephen. Like Popcorn day rules. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Uh, that was fun. Yeah. I ate most of my tub. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Glenny. Oh, you fuck. You won't Mincy still is on What's hold. Up? We should call talk to him eventually. What's up, Glenny? How you doing? Notice any different th difference about the studio? Sponsored by Outback Steakhouse? Yep. Yep. <laughs> exactly right. Oh yes. Yeah. Exactly you about right. to have some? <laughs> what did you say? I just wanted you on the yak so you could talk about Outback a little bit. You know what I mean? I absolutely love Outback Steakhouse. It's amazing. Yep. We got the new land and sea menu over there. We got the uh Look at him. got yeah, we got the loaded blue onion with uh, beautiful Aussie cheese fries on top of that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful so there's some grilled chicken over there, a filet. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yep, yep, yeah, some lobster back over there, grilled chicken. It's all fantastic. I love Outback. I've been loving Outback my whole life. Beautifully love said. it. Beautifully said. Who was that um that lady you were talking to? She was a beautiful uh actress model, uh Summer Soderstrom. Ooh. Her soda oh, no. oh, her sister just got married in like Malibu, right? Autumn. Were you listening to me? Were you mic'd up? No, we weren't. No. Yes, you were. How'd you, how'd you listen to me? I didn't listen to you. We were literally just talking about Brandon, Brandon told us all about her. You had, how were you listening to that conversation? I wasn't listening. I've been in here. That's fucked up. <laughs> uh, don't miss the limited time Great Barrier Eats. Wait, stay here, Glenny. Eats Land and Sea menu at Outback Steakhouse. Order at Outback.com. Today, it's got the best stuff possible. Outbacksteakhouse.com. Uh, Mac Daddy of Steak and Mate Combos, the new sirloin plus lobster mac and cheese combo with a six-ounce sirloin lobster mac and cheese and a choice of two sides. So it's just $16.99. Again, go right now. Limited time. Great Barrier Eats, Land and Sea menu at Outback Steakhouse. Order at Outback.com. Mashed potatoes are perfect. So good. They're perfect mashed potatoes. Everything at Outback is incredible. The bread is my favorite bread in the world. Facts. Can I say something? I think this might be my favorite sponsorship we've ever had because they're just bringing us lunch every day. Yeah, it's no, awesome. Yeah, there's no. just steak out there. That prime rib they have on that new menu is incredible. So good. That was very good. Plenty. Um, I mentioned Nashville plan. We gotta we gotta workshop it. What can we do in Nashville? Booze and burgers. Oh, I, I don't. Yeah. We, we're gonna. F I want to figure out a way to get you to Nashville. I don't want to talk about this right now. All right. Okay. We'll talk about it later. But I want to get you to Nashville. Wait, five yeah. minutes later. We'll get you to Nashville. No, I don't want to do it like this. Come on. All right. We're gonna get you to Nashville. No, nah, now you're going to make a thing out of it. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. This could probably be the best way to do it, So we had an introductory conversation, and then we're going to recircle and figure out a well, way to get I didn't even ask you. you to have that conversation. That was out of the blue. Yeah, you just sprung it on me. You asked me you're ever going to move out. out oh, of yeah, that's true. Out of your house. That is my. That is true. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't ask My bad. You. Out of the Stella. I think you should move to Nashville. Nah, I think nah. you have a shitload of stuff you could do there. No, nah, no, nah, you're, you're, no. Nah. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, man. Lenny, 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 that would be awesome. Lenny, I'm not. I'm not trying to be mean. I literally think you should move to Nashville. He is, but you're being extra sad. I really do think you should move to Nashville. I think there's a shitload of content there. I think start working with the Boston with the boys. I think you're being mean. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm literally being no. honest. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy the oh, rest. Oh no! Glenny, Glenny, don't do that. No, I don't want him Glenny, to go. Glenny, 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 come back. Come oh, on. No, oh, no, no, Glenny, <laughs> Glenny. Fine. I guess I won't move. <laughs> oh. I need to go repair that. I didn't say he was going to move. I said he was. He, we had a conversation. Fuck. He's extra sad though. Maybe he, well, he, he kind of nailed that one. She just oh. interviewed a hot OnlyFans girl for an hour. I gotta go fucking yeah. fix that. Well, we gotta do the. Want to take a second? You gotta book him Skybree or True. I'm gonna give him a minute and then yeah. I'm gonna try He's to. Get off him Sky Bree. Again. What? He's off Skybree. What does that mean? I heard. Oh yeah, Malisex got off check Sky check uh, lacrosse. Oh. All right, I'll go fix Glenny. Go fix Glenny. I don't know why why he's off Skybury, but he's off. He's like out on her. Or? Out, yeah. Oh okay, yeah, that's fine. Fuck. But there's others. Fuck. Malasek. Hey. I like Malasek. I like Malasek too. You guys, love him. This is good in here. Paul's in your court. Yeah. Um, I just want to listen in on their I conversation want to so <laughs> bad. I he want to hear bad. Hey, no, you're good. You're good. Right. You're good. Um, yeah. So I just asked if I could come on real quick. Um, for those that don't know, I play goalie for the Czech lacrosse team. And we're going. And we looked to, at that roster, and they have like an eighty-year-old man. This is Poland, did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, to you, to, to clarify, it is the country, country, Czechia, Czech that's Republic. The, yep. It's the national team. Yes. <laughs> so uh, this summer, this June, we're gonna go play in the World Championships. And what? Wait, wait, what? What? 
What are you talking what are you about? Talking yeah. about? <laughs> He's trying to save a team right now. Oh, it's up. <laughs> Go ahead, Mal. Yeah, J- Jake, you're, it's as good as gone. <laughs> he might as well. Know. Yeah, true. Yeah, sorry. Want to go? No, oh, Dave had a really good tweet. It probably thought Brandon would have left. It's all good. Sorry. I'll check it out, but but continue, Mal. Yeah, anyway. Right, um, he's a friend. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, a friend. he's a friend. <laughs> you guys oh. act like I'm a starter here. I'm, oh, like, I'm, I'm getting called up from fucking single A. All right, oh, I'm you're, trying you're to, taking a lot of shots. That's all. what I can. You're taking a lot of shots. Do what you can. Jake. Taking a lot of shots? I ate popcorn 40 minutes straight. Mal, a sec. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to bring up. We Did y'all see a... this tweet about Dave, though? <laughs> <laughs> You're a real motherfucker. Oh, look at it. it. It really is a good tweet. Thank you for bringing it to my attention, Rico. Now I know why BFW gets so mad when I give him shit. He works with an imbecile like Mincy. How could I ever get mad at him when I sign Mincy's checks? That's my point. Exactly. It's a great It's a great tweet. Thank you, Rico. I appreciate Malisek, that. Malisek, but Go ahead, Malice. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know exactly how to pitch this, but we have a- You get it fixed, Big Cat? I think I got it fixed. Well, yeah, you're going to have to- <laughs> <laughs> the check team is fucked. The check team is so <laughs> fucked. Glenn, 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 sit, 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 sit. We gotta, we gotta work. You never want to try to save a national team on popcorn day. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Look around. Ever. Read the room. <laughs> so go um, ahead, Jake. I mean, do you have some stuff? No, no, no. Glenn, no, no, Glenn is going to hang out for a while. We're, we're, we've totally tabled the Nashville talk. It's not even going to happen on this show. Glenn and I are going to have a private conversation. I also would like to interrupt. I do have to leave for a Sunday conversation in 10 minutes. Fucking, well, then you got to go. Who are you going with? Ten minutes. Oh, who who are you who are you doing? Drew K. Skybury. Yeah, you guys don't reveal. You guys get Kate Hudson. Yes. What were you saying? What were you saying, Jake? Um. Yeah. So <laughs> we only have ten minutes. So. Yeah, so we're leaving at two. It's one fifty. All right. Cool. Cool. Where are you going, Raleigh? Czech national team. Yeah. Yeah. So this summer, end of June, uh, we are playing in the World Championships, and you know, limited gov- government funding. Stuff like that has led to us having to do our own fundraising. Rico, you're in favor of limited government, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, no. That's a different show. Okay, all right. And um, I just thought I would come on here and kind of promote what's going on. So we have our our link. Here. So everyone donate. We have a uh, goal of thirty grand. We're almost at twenty nine, so we're almost there. Oh, uh, there's one like grand. Fourteen. You came on here for you need a thousand dollars. Just give him a thousand dollars. Yeah, set out for shopping uh, day. A thousand dollars. Fuck, Malice. Yeah, pay cash. The, thir- the thirty grand goal, and then a little extra, like five or six, would get us uh, like new helmets. Would be. Up Can I pay? Go ca- up the goal. Oh, I know. pay cash. Pay fifty. Get, get to fifty dollars. Am I allowed to pay you, cash? Anything would be great. I got an idea. I got an idea. I think that you coming in on popcorn day is a blessing, and I think that you should be linking your eating of popcorn to this goal and so do some kind of maybe on the yak maybe you're in the corner racing or doing eating popcorn fast so we can try and in the moment yeah. raise money and like you get to this I'm much in, yeah, whatever, this amount of time to happen, or, or I'm, something. I'll, I'll, I'll pledge a dollar a piece uh, of popcorn be cl- yeah. yeah the yeah. you clean I'll clean up the room too like whatever when Wait, you, you didn't answer can I pay cash you can pay what, yeah any sort All of right, I'll pay cash dollar amount. I'll get you to you're at 30k great thank you yes, <laughs> it. dude no, I'm not giving thirty. You can't. You need a thousand dollars. Well, uh, thirty thirty-five would be. You should great. eat popcorn right, I'll get until you, you get to thirty-five. Wait, big cat, big cat. You should do that. But if they w- if they medal, you should get a medal. Yeah. I mean, we're not gonna medal, but we're gonna hopefully get top ten. Is the dream. Wait, Wait that's, that's loser talk. Medaling would be like bigger than Miracle on Ice of an upset, but a top okay, ten. Okay, well, what, did, you just mentioned something that happened. But you're the goalie. Yeah. What's on you? Yeah, it's one hundred percent. If you're very good, they'll matter. So, you're gonna have like the fastest, best balls coming at you yep. in the world. Are you, you got, nervous? No, I'm excited. You, you just got one want of the, the fastest, best yeah, balls too. in here right yeah. now. Um, but yeah, so we have our pool play starts on the 22nd of June. ESPN Plus, if people want to watch. Um, below my promotion for the fundraiser tweet is the store. If people want to get some stuff, okay. I got yeah. Big cat, a sweater. Nice I know Please, everyone, do it. Uh, all right. So here's the oh. deal. I will. We're going to clean up, but you can help us clean up sure. for 2K. Great. In. Okay. Donation. All right. Stella Blue and where is your... Um... Oh, yeah. Can you wear Stella Blue hats? So, I th- we are a little behind schedule on sponsorships, but that is an option that I read in, like, the FIL handbook, so we can submit You a read a handbook? They have, like, our PDF thing they list for the federation, and I read that about sponsorship stuff. Where is Where are the games? San Diego. I want to go. Everybody's welcome. Uh, end of June, so twenty seconds. The first. Who's game. in your pool, motherfucker? <laughs> uh, pool play is us, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Sweden, and Israel. So that sounds good. good you could be winnable. All those That's tough winnable. Pool. Um, Puerto I mean, Rican three pool? games to make out of pool play and continue to kind of play for something that matters. So that's we got to win three games. Puerto Ricans yeah. probably have more of a claim, you know what I mean, than uh, 
Are Israel's helmets smaller and on the back of their head? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right, so you got it. You reach your goal and then some. Yeah, great. But everyone else, please donate if um, you can. TJ, why does that say All right. check cut? Thank you, Malisek. I'll, I'll have you come back in. We'll have you come back in to help. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. All right, Glenny, plug what you got going on. I, I, Glenny and I are good. We're going to have a conversation separate. I misspoke out of turn. What do I got going on? What do you got going on? Today? No, just in general. Let's plug some shit. Sunday conversation, only stands. Who, what do we got in the hopper for only stands? What's the white whale right now? Oh, uh, we got some good ones coming up next week. We got a uh, Tucci Cash and this wonderful lady Viking Barbie. They got you, like a combined. You done a guy yet? Sixteen million. Um, no, we have you know not. Jack from Jack and Jill. She trying Adam to get. You should do a guy. Yeah, I mean, I've been offered guys, but I feel like they're just not going to get as many views <laughs> as women. As yeah, women. Adam so I'm think we'll probably stick to women at this time. Yeah. Yeah. Guys don't guys get too horny either. Views. Yeah, no, we got we got some good ones coming up. We got, got a one year anniversary episode in two weeks. That's so sick. Our first ever guest, GD. She she came back, which was a great episode. Fuck yes. Hey, talk about how that Theo Vaughn thing happened. Uh, I was. Wait, in, what happened? I did Theo Vaughn's podcast. Really? Yeah. When? We recorded it last week. And when's it coming out? It came it's out. It's out oh, and yeah. it's doing numbies. Oh fuck! Fast. I gotta listen. I gotta I mean, listen. I mean, it's got like fucking six hundred thousand views on YouTube. So, yeah, I've been watching. I've been looking. I feel like Vince watching Aquaman, seeing it's watching the numbers going. <laughs> but um, no, we were in LA last week for another Sunday conversation that we recorded that night last Monday, and then Theo just randomly DM me and said, "You want to come on the podcast?" And I said, "I'd love to." Like, let's figure something out. I thought he recorded in Nashville, so I was like, oh, "I'll sure I'll be in Nashville soon." And he said, "Oh, I'm don't, actually." Don't bring that up. I know. And I'm, either way. But he was like, oh, I'm actually in L.A. for the next week. You saw I was in L.A. And I said, all right, I'll stay an extra day if you want to do it. So I stayed an extra day, and we did it the next morning. Hell yes. So it was, it was fun, though. It was, it was quite intimidating. Theo's a very scary person to talk to. And obviously, it's a very big podcast. So I was very scared. He owns TikTok. Yeah, I was very intimidated. I'm just extremely scared. What was he talking it about? It went well. I thought Quirrells it was right. shit. We talked about a lot of shit, dude. We talked about squ- uh, penguins, uh, being fat on an airplane, mm-hmm. AI, wedding speeches, uh... Um, just fucking only stand Sunday conversation, a lot of Caleb talk, uh, Italian stuff, food. It was a long, it was like three hours. We went three hours. What? Holy shit. Yeah. We went three hours. Hell yeah. A good conversation. It was, was, it was very, it was very intimidating. People only see you loving food and titties, but they don't know that you're a smart guy. They got to start watching the dozen and see all the fucking answers. Glennie pulls out of Any his chance? ears. Well I, was, well, I mean, it was interesting. It was an interesting idea because I feel like a lot of people just in the, in the realm of the world see me in Sunday conversation where I don't talk very much. Right. right. So I guess that was the most, most people see me talk in a while. So yeah, that was very intimidating. Knowing a lot of people would see the talking side of me. You got a head on your shoulders. It would have been funny if you just did your Sunday conversation character for Theo Vaughn. Yeah, you just ate. Silent you Bob. Just, you just didn't, he asked questions. You just didn't say anything. Yeah, I was very intimidated though. It's, uh, as soon as I got there in the parking lot, I was walking over my luggage and he pulled in. So I watched him pull in and I said to myself, "Oh fuck, do I wait outside for him? Do I go inside?" And what did you do? To go. I waited for him. That's the right like, move. Yeah, you wait for him. Oh, you did the right move. I hope I did. And then he walked by me and I shook his hand. I was like, oh, thanks for having me. And then he said, save for the mics. And I said, fuck, dude, this is, a le- this is legit. So you've hello for the mics? No, I said, hey, he said, hey, what's up? He's like, oh, I'm so happy you're here, but save it for the mics. Mm-hmm. We didn't speak until we got in the mics. Yeah. But I kind of like that form. Yeah. I mean, he was so nice. He was great. Unload the clip. Theo, massive fan. Sounds like it went well. It was great. It was, you know what was the scariest part? Was I was fucking following up John Mulaney. Oh, <laughs> John Mulaney than me. Is he in the oh, studio shit. at the same time or no? Oh, oh, oh I literally yeah. we did it. We recorded it last Tuesday. He puts his pods out on Tuesday. So I was literally in the Uber, walking into the office. I look at my phone and like Theo's like, oh, this week's episode with John Mulaney. Oh yeah, because you were sitting there being like, I hope he has someone just like terrible. Yeah, and it's fucking jo- like John yeah. Mulaney's first podcast interview, like after his <laughs> yeah. after his yeah. stay. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> so that was fucking intimidating. And Glennie's like, I love silt- seltzers and titties. Yeah, him and Trevor Lady are like talking serious, like having nice serious conversations about their rehab and whatnot. And I'm, and then the next week is fucking me. So it was kind of intimidating following John Mulaney. But you probably need a little palate cleanse. You know what I mean? After all that, because that, that's a heavy ass interview. All the clips I saw from that. Were- I'm not really even saying interview. It's not like John Mulaney was leaving as I was walking in. I'm sure. saying the episode. The, the, it literally says on YouTube, John Mulaney, Glennie Balls, which is an intimidating person to follow. Yeah. Yeah. But it sounds like you did well. I, I think it was all right. Get those views up. I think it was okay. I think it's doing okay. I haven't I have been looking at the views though. It's hard not to. There's yeah. So many when you of go them. on someone else's show. Yeah, it's hard it's not definitely, to. Well, it's definitely. You just don't want to be the lowest. Well, I, I just felt bad because like the, like I don't want him I don't want him Theo to think I'm a fucking dork. So I want to make sure at least has a respectable amount of views. There's no chance Theo thinks. He he think you're a dork if you didn't do numbies. Yeah, well, I don't want to think of the go. He made a bad choice putting me on because obviously, I, obviously, I'm not the caliber of his normal guest. He took a chance to have me on, so I was hoping that I got a decent amount of views, so he didn't second guess that thought. 
This guy that makes a living eating ice cream and talking to girls with enormous tits is such a dork. <laughs> yeah, you're you know, the you know opposite what I mean. of a dork. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You couldn't you know be I mean. less of a dork. You know what I mean. It was, yeah. it was a nice thing to have me on. I didn't want him to say, oh, I should. Right, you didn't want him to want to come back. anyway, yeah. Not that I'm saying I want to come back. How I did, wait, how did he do? Yeah, it was amazing as always. He's fucking yeah. one of the funniest people on the planet. Yeah. Some of the stuff he's, I don't know how he comes up with some of the stuff he says, but he's amazing. Yeah, he's great. But, um, yeah. Awesome. That was fun. Anyway. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. good. Pretty good, Glenn. Thank you. Cool. Besides me fucking up our relationship, but I think we're okay. Oh, we're fine. Yeah. I don't know about Deontay Banks, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Glenny, give us the Giants. We'll be fine. I'm not going to sit here and try to analyze a 25th overall pick for Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have that in me. Only four. That's what I'm saying. I don't know about it. I just don't, don't have that in me. I'm excited that tomorrow. I think me and Frank are finally streaming Rangers Devils. I'm excited about that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You. Oh, that was what I wanted to say. This might be the most torturous way for a team to lose dude the rangers are trash like to go up 2-0 against uh, kind of rival rival. yeah i would maybe say bigger rival overall i personally islanders are bigger for me devils might be bigger grand scheme right but 2-0 on their ice against your rival on their ice so then you come back home and you lose three in a row like that's torture. And the last series they played against Tampa last year, was, we were up 2 nothing too. Lost all four. Lost four straight. Fuck. Yeah, it's not a bit fun. Last night was fucking brutal. It was really so fun. you guys are going to stream tomorrow night? Yeah. Hell yes. PM, I'm excited. Me, I didn't think just me v. Tank. Really? Tank. Mono e mono? <laughs> mono e mono. Wow. I want to go me v. Hank. I'm trying to go me v. Hank, mono e mono. Really? And I don't. I mean, I don't know. I, I anybody else is welcome there, but I'm trying Max to. Max will Max and oh yeah, Matt and rival. Smitty too, Smitty too, yeah. of course. I'm just trying to think who I could go. Mono e mono sounds awesome. Mono e mono. I'm just kind of scared. I don't want to go. Mono. I kind of hope that it's yeah. literally just the two of you in the game. Yeah, you know yeah. What I will say, I, I do think that I think Frank likes the Devils more than the Mets. He is more. He's more realistic about the Mets. Is his craziest. The team. Devils give him more. Yeah. They, they have him yeah. taking care of him. But in the, I'm saying in the I think just hockey when people love hockey it's their number one thing. I think low key Frank is a devil, is a Devils fan over the match. You think on the Pantheon uh, it's I do. hockey first. It is funny you're to a s- big hockey fan, yes. It's also funny to see Frank get out of Mets mode because he's like a like he's a very in tune fan. That's fair, but I like but to combat what you're saying is pretty much every big ho- every big hockey fan I know it's their number one sport. Number yeah. One. What are you saying then? Like Frank is a big baseball guy. I, I mean, I think low key, deep down, Frank likes the Devils more than he likes the Mets. Yes, he no, again, I think Devils. it's just the Devils have won and have been good to him. I don't know. I haven't beaten him down for thirty. That years. video game too of him just walking out of there, like he was just sad. It wasn't even like he was it, yelling. Like, guys who love hockey love hockey more than anything else. He's right. I'm if, saying guys that are big hockey fans could be true. They're, it's their number. I don't one. think it's true. Guys of Frank. that are big hockey fans, it's normally their number. I don't one think sport. it's true of Frank because yeah. you could also say the same thing for baseball fans. There are baseball fans that love baseball more than anything else. It's their number one thing. Like, I think- I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm saying if you're a fan of a hockey team, it's nine out of ten times that's your number one team. Right. If you're a diehard. Uh, if you have a, I, I don't I think it. those numbers co- – I don't think that's accurate. You have season tickets? It's, sure, there are some, but I, not, I don't think – I don't think every, – Every big hockey fan I know, that's their number one team that they, that they care about. The better way to say it is there's less casual hockey fans than any other sport. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I would say so. Yeah. Argue that. They're either in. And I also just think it's very cute how much Frank loves Jack Hughes. Yeah. It's like his child. I love it. It makes me like Jack Hughes, honestly. <laughs> All right, so what do you got to do to win? Oh, you got to go. No, no, no. I, 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 as soon as I see Kelsey walk downstairs, I got to go. What do you get, What do you got to do to win game f- five? Six. Five, six. Game six. I would like him to actually hit Jack Hughes. That would be nice. But, uh, you know, uh, the Rangers stars got to play. Mika Zibanejad, Panarin, they got to score goals. They haven't scored a goal yet. Gotta, gotta, the bread man got to score. Red man's got to score. Mika's got to score. The Patrick boys got to score. Gotta score. Patrick Kane's got to set up Kreider. With the power play going over ten over three games, Kreider's not the best. Is, are, is hockey your number one? No, the Rangers are my number one. That's what I'm saying. The Rangers are my, my number one team, definitely. But the sport of hockey, absolutely not. Oh, so the, but the Rangers are your number one. Yes, that's what I'm saying. If you're a big fan of, if you're a big fan of a hockey team, that's more than most likely your number one team, is what I'm saying. Interesting. With hockey, definitely not. Like I'm not. You I'm don't not. give a fuck about the Giants. I love the Giants, but I don't care. I, I don't. The Giants and Mets are very far down from the Rangers for me. Mm-hmm. And then St. John's basketball. Maybe two, honestly, with my boy Patino now, you know? Mm-hmm. That is going to be electric. Could be so. We've got a, big, what got if a, big, got a five-star recruit heat. visiting today. Yeah. I really, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of the Knicks. I have a few Knicks jerseys. I love the Knicks growing up. But once they traded the whole team, they had a great, such a great core. Once they traded that core for Melo, I kind of just lost interest. That's because Dolan got involved. Yeah. Like that before, that whole team before Melo, when it was just Amari, 
JR, uh, JR Smith, sorry, oh. Tan- Chandler, fucking Landry Fields. That Bosco. was fun. I traded all of them. I was out. But yeah. We still have Mincy on hold? Yep. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Buddy, put on your uh, headphones. We got Mincy. We've had Mincy on hold. Mincy. What's up, bitch? How are we doing? I could be doing better. Yeah, I, know. I hate to hate to let the old boy down. It's tough, tough, tough. Duh. Not, not my favorite. Not the best morning so far, or day so far. I guess the best well, Your morning was fine because you didn't have to do a show. Well, I, I think my awareness is continues to get me in, in like my logic. My awareness continues to get me in lots of problems on a day 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 basis, and I guess like twisted logic wise, I was like, well. I could do the show and make my buddy's wedding rehearsal. That's what I should do. And I didn't think, like, I don't know. I guess I just was unaware of but ramifications and should have But it's wake, around, uh, it's, before I met this scene. It's wake up with Mincy. Yeah. I know. I thought it, I, I literally, uh, you know, I made a, I made a mistake. And, uh, you know, I, I really didn't realize the ramifications of, like, that being uh that, that big, big issue. Um, but I mean, I, I admit it was my fault and uh, I was wrong and uh, I was out of line and more this mistake and uh, not pre record any more shows again. That's the damn sure. Sounds sincere. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean the, the worst thing is Stella Blue now notices this. Uh, but, but as long as, like, you still have part of my cheesesteak. Oh, uh, well, no. Oh, you pissed off your sponsors. Part of my cheesesteak is that. not. In 02? In 02. Is Apple now? Apple, I think they're aware. I know about coming on. You know about Coke? Oh, fuck. Coke. Dang. Oh, it's just crazy because you people lose trust. Right. And also, like, Stella Blue coffee, like. What do you do in the morning? Wake up to drink Stella Blue with Ben Mintz. Right. What I did anyway. Exactly. That's what I, that's, yeah. that's what I like to do. It's what I do, but it, can I, I trust? A, I had a lot of people saying that they weren't weren't going to buy Stella Blue anymore. It's not like you make sleepy time. A lot of people didn't wake up today. Yeah. A lot of people. Where are you now, Mintz? Jerry Springer down in Carolina. I I am in about to check in this hotel in Raleigh, North Carolina, to get ready to go to a wedding party. How many How many hours early are you? Uh, we're a couple right now. I'm gonna meet up with some people. Um, I'm gonna meet up with the crew here in uh, a few minutes. Uh, I, I noticed. Okay, you ready? I noticed widespread panic had a show in Raleigh tonight. Is this any? Is this you, uh, fake, 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 fake news? That's we're true. You do, yeah. Mincy? Are you going to a widespread panic show? Tell the truth. And I, I just did two nights in Austin like a week ago or two weeks ago. I'm good. But uh, no. No, I'm not. Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! Oh, oh. We're watching a video. Some some looks like some fan disgruntled fan is pouring Stella Blue coffee out on a wake up Mincy shirt. Die hard! Oh, it's Cliff! Oh no, that's not Cliff. He's our number one fan. Yeah, he spends money. And I, <sighs> Mincy, I tried to get people to stop tweeting cancel Mincy, but. I know, I know. I appreciate you in my corner, bitch. I, I, I know you were there for more support. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here's another video. Oh, no. Who sent this one? I'm going to retweet him just so people know not what to do. Back to the future. Oh, and so, oh no. I, I wonder what the second word's going to be. And, um, <laughs> okay, we, yeah. Wait, no, this could be anything. This could be anything. Mi- Mike. Twist. That's in, Mike Minter. It was in, like, breath mints. Oh. Big, big cat, there's some serious mental gymnastics going on today. Yeah. It would be Probably better if it, flip, was, though. <laughs> if it had some. <laughs> Summer in the bar. <laughs> oh, Christ. Yeah. Oh, Blue fuck. Sales. Big cat. Yeah, that was, I got that email. Sell Blue Sales plummeted it around 9 a.m. this morning. They were high as hell at 6 a.m. They were. People were ordering, 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 and then boom. If you could have did it different, Mincy, what would you have done? you have woken up i would have well i would have what i would have done differently is uh tape this not not tape but like done a live show at like 8 a.m eastern an hour earlier yeah but i didn't realize the magnitude of my actions of not doing that i thought that would have obviously been what i done what about a later flight yeah no i that, that would have been an option too i thought that the other flight option i was given would have gotten me there like right at five so i would have been late for the what time did you have to head over well, to the airport today 
I went to the airport about uh, eight thirty. I got yeah, I left about eight thirty. Oh no. There were multiple twelve thirties out of LaGuardia and JFK. Fuck. What about I know that. Some people were saying it would have been great to have a special groomsman edition of Wake Up Mincy. Could have oh, even goodness. done it that been in the afternoon. That would have been a gift to the guy, too, for his wedding. Like, oh, he could be on Wake Up Mincy. Stella Blue. Yeah. Could have spon- uh, Stella Blue could have sponsored been, the wedding. I would have. It's just been a tough Part of my cheesesteak would have matched. I was wondering, you know, if it, if it didn't, you know, I guess it's been about three or four months since I've last been just getting completely torched by Dave. And so we're, you know... Well, it was about that time. Have you thought about looking into quitting? <laughs> Absolutely not. Good. I'll, I'll look. Brandon can get Brandon and Rico could give you the playbook. I mean, we got you. It's not that hard. I'm gonna stand in. I'm gonna stand in here and take it. You know, like I always do. I mean, it is what it is. You know, I know I'm gonna get let off, and it is what it is. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's certainly not something that hasn't happened before already, and. You know, I know I made a mistake, and I told Dave I made a mistake, and I'm going to learn from it and, and do better and not make the same mistake. I mean, I don't know if you hurt me, but Mincy, who, I don't really know what else I can do. Mincy, who was writing that blog that you texted me? You thought it was me this morning. I don't know. I just saw a Wake Up Mincy analysis, and I thought, I, I thought it was you, uh, but it wasn't. I don't know. I just saw like, a tweet about it. I don't know why I thought it was you. Uh, Mincy, I feel like people are coming at your neck. Well, it's tough to do a show, a live show three days a week. Like nobody, You can't do that every day. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I can't win here. Um, I've had a hell of a week. You know, this has been one of the craziest weeks I, I think I've ever had as far as uh, – it's been the full, ga- full gamut. Uh, like, I saw the act, the stock report up and down. Yeah. I mean, we got, like, I mean, weddings, funerals, 10K, freaking three years, no alcohol yesterday. I feel right. like I've lived six months, five, five days. Billy Joel. I mean, this week. Is, yeah, Billy Joel, yeah. Yeah, Billy Joel, MSC, Blenny, thank you. Shout out. But uh, this week's just been, uh, I don't know, I knew it's just been a just monster roller coaster. Thanks, Glenny. It seemed like it was- hey, hold, on, hold on one second, Mincy. Glenny, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have Apologize again. We'll, we'll talk. Sorry about Fine. yeah. Good sorry luck. about there not being any show for you to watch this morning, Glenny. Yeah, Glenny. Seven on popcorn. Glenny, Glenny, we will uh, we'll make sure there's a wake up Mincy next week for you. Yeah, kick your feet off at the door. Yeah. yeah. Glenny was He's- really disturbed about this wake up Mincy thing. He was. What is big sport? He's tracking popcorn. Too. I don't know, man. I feel I feel like you know you're you're saying all the right things, but one thing speaks louder than words. And I'm gonna have to talk to Stella tonight, and we're gonna have to have a long heart to heart about what, oh. where we go with our sponsorship. Gotta tell Stella. I don't want to tell her. When I mm. left the house, she was. When I left the house, she had she had woken up with me. There's no bigger Mincy fan than her. Right, and we always wake up together. And then when I left the house, she was just snoozing on the couch. It was thinking one... that I hadn't told her that it was pre-recorded yet. It was one show this week. Monday and Wednesday were live. <coughs> Wednesday there was Wednesday and Thursday were live. Monday, Monday, Wednesday. Oh, okay. Then Monday, I, 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 it's a funeral Monday. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, you have built up. A trust with the audience. You've been doing this show for how long? You've been doing this show. I mean, three weeks, man. You know, we've, been, we've had a long run. How long are we gonna do this? <laughs> yeah. All right, Mincy. Enjoy All right, the, I'll take it easy. Enjoy uh, the wedding. Gotta yeah. have really fun, am. man. Distract really yourself. Again, I really am sorry. Like, I will never pre-record again. I know I'm gonna catch heat about this, but all I can do is learn from it. Literally. Yeah, listen, hey, Thanks. just Thanks. if you could, Mincy, if you could please tweet out the promo code for for Stella Blue. I'm basically giving coffee away today. To make up for the lost dollars, so I the code that, is I, I mean, I cancel there, Mincy. I saw somebody had a cancel Mincy link. Okay, okay, well, yeah, I'll, I'll the code is cancel Mincy, fifteen percent off Stella Blue for the rest of the day. Um, if you could please tweet will, that out. Will, you got it. I don't know. Okay, cancel Mincy. StellaBlueCoffee.com. I'll tweet it out. I We're giving it away. We're giving it away. I, I hope to. I hope to get a chance to make this up to you and Dave. All right, thank you, Mincy. Enjoy the wedding. Nick, just read my last my last text from my wife there, please. Just read that. Oh, from your wife. How can last you read one a picture. No. You want me to read this? Thousand words. Last one, yes. Thomas just kicked the car. You set the punishments. So I got that going. I gotta go <laughs> home and punish Tommy for kicking the car. Why does he have to? He should have to eat a whole. Or come oh, have him come in, clean this up for us. Happens. Come smoke a whole pack of cars. <laughs> 
from well, but did he do any damage to it? Where did he Got kick it? it? Where did he kick it? I'm sure he kicked the door or something. What do you think he's ornery about? No telling. Oh, I mean, maybe if you just get to the base of the the issue. Well, it's just a whole big thing. I maybe 15 minutes, no iPad. He's been sassy lately. 15 yeah. minutes, no iPad's fucking brutal. <laughs> that's what I've been doing. Yeah, I learned is you can't repress that anger. It only fucks you up later. That's what life. I mean. Like, that's why if, he, if you punish him for it. Go, we got. Have you tried the cold? <laughs> cold what? Go cold ahead. shower. What? Cold showers. Cold. Apparently, cold showers opens uh, relaxes you or something or opens up your. Oh, uh, I could try that. I've, I've been, been trying. Blasting. I'm open to anything. You're blasting them. It's hey, listen. It, I know it's annoying when people talk gold. about it, but if, if it I'll helps, it helps, and I want songs. other people to live better. Also, uh, yeah, I think I'm doing okay. I woke up like I had the most dog shit morning. I didn't really? get high before bed. And because of Mincy. Yeah, I guess. I don't take it. <laughs> 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 yeah. huh. You just didn't know it. I didn't know. Yeah. You watched the whole video. I think it was it was live. I thought it was late. I thought it was this morning. <laughs> what happened? You woke up with a shitty morning, then you got a cold shower. It got you right? I was dog shit all morning. Even after your cold shower? Yeah. I got bombed last Trial night. Trial and error. Cold shower. <laughs> It does. You know, the cold shower still helps. What was that noise? Now I'm excited for it. That was a really good noise. That yeah, was a great noise. Fucking locked back into my own body. Knew exactly what it meant. Down and hopped on the kettlebells. Oh, kettlebells. Try to be like KB, bro. Kettlebell. Well, that makes sense. Kettlebells. Getting high before bed. You stay longer in the shower just because you feel like peace. I don't know. Something about the water and like it's cold, right? No, like I always take hot, but uh, yeah, I stay in way too. Something long about just yeah. I don't know. Like I, I could probably get out and I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't on, like a, on a cold winter day, you catch yourself being like, I don't want to get out. Yes. I am maximum in the shower two minutes every time. I just, what? I don't like being in the shower. You got a big ass body. I don't like yeah. being in the shower. I, I, I take care of business, I get out. Uh, I don't enjoy showers. Y'all enjoy showers? Yeah. I and every showers. once in a while, a bath, a bath is a nice mix up, too. Oh, I like a bath, too. Shower is like the most genius. One of the best inventions yeah. that we have. Yeah. The fact they're spraying water on you. Feels good. Oh, yeah. I'm with I like the bath is I always end up peeing on myself. You piss in the bath? Yeah. yeah. Then you get up and shower. Yeah, but I stay there for a while in the piss. Have they made a laying down shower yet? Yeah. I'm being honest with you guys. I pee on myself. Almost certainly have, right? A laying down shower? Lenny was telling me about a table shower he got one time. What was that? Oh, <laughs> now it's Roan's fault. <laughs> That's a joke. He, he he would joke about how we used to go up to <laughs> Montreal. To. Oh, Montreal. This is good. This is good. You're helping me. Yeah, he would joke about it. Yeah. You should be able to lay down on a plane. That's my take. Uh, it's I'm called first class. Really fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, Sass is on Delta One today. Yeah, Sass yeah. has a bed He's flying Delta One for the first time. He's like, it's a once in a lifetime thing. It's like, dude. No, it's, it's not, not. going to be once in a lifetime. No. You've exposed yourself right. to the better side of life. He's going to spend every cent he has chasing that Delta One. Jet I would, uh, I've never done it. I, would ne I don't know if you could. That's one of those things you can never back. go back. Oh, no, but if you do Jet, Jet Blue Mint on uh, Coast to Coast, like Red Eyes. You can really lay down? Full lay down. Pillows, everything. Sass said his flight back. He's in 48D. <laughs> oh, he's, it's... Oh. A, back. a couple weeks ago, I was—I uh, think it was right after the UConn win. I was—I uh, I stayed home. I was sick, and I watched uh, the Yak from Bubble Bath. It was pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That, Your dick was out. That, You're watching us butt ass naked. That feels yeah. weird. <laughs> did you get so laugh? Did you laugh in a bubble bath? <laughs> well, I mean, you got smile or laugh. I did. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, I was—I was still yeah, cutting stuff. <laughs> The entire two-hour yak, hour and a half yak, you were in the bubble bath the whole time? Uh, I had to, like, change the water because the water That's started to get cold. That's just what I was going to so, ask. Yeah, yeah. You let it Wait, out a little bit. You doubled the water up? Well, like, no, you let yeah, you water let it out. out and All then right. You, it back you on. stayed in so long you had to redo the water. I ran it back. <laughs> Uh, that's a good feeling. It was good. That water doesn't last that long. It's shorter than you think. Water doesn't I last. I like it. piping I, hot. Yeah, but I do about a tw It lasts, let's say, 20, 30, but then you got to do a little dump, well, add like it back the, in. I like the feeling of sitting in there while you run the hot-ass water into the tub that you're sitting in already. That's I haven't taken a sh fucking bath. You could get I had poison bath. sumac in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and that what was that? Not, that was recent, though. It was, it was, like last it was week? ninth grade. Uh, <laughs> what did you put in your... Well, uh, I got poison sumac in my asshole. <laughs> around it. Sumac. How did that happen? I was probably playing paintball. <laughs> <laughs> you were running backwards <laughs> in the woods. Running backwards through the woods. You know, you trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's just naked Nick running backwards in the woods. That was the, the worst. Fuck? I would rather have uh like a 
disease that hospitalizes you than sumac in the ass. Yeah. That's really bad. Does sumac hospitalize you? Pooping scratched the itch, though, which was cool. Oh, that is cool. I love nope. that feeling. Oh. Then you chase yeah, the it. You try to poop. Five like, right. worst moments of my life were all itch-based skin diseases. Yeah. Scabies. Scabies are so scabies bad. Scabies from my boy. bad. Herpes. Hey, is chicken pox still a thing? I never had it. Yeah. Isn't it coming back? I've never seen a kid with chicken pox, Damn. which makes sense because they're probably home. I but I still. had it. <laughs> no, no. I know you. Like, I had chicken like I had chicken pox. No one posts their chicken pox today. Kids online or think it's anything. getting phased out. Post your chicken pox kids online if you I'm haven't. I had a waiter once who had chicken pox. That sucked. <laughs> what? Yeah, my waiter had chicken <laughs> pox. Did you guys grow up in that? That thing? was Sunny Boy's diner. Yeah. If somebody <laughs> had it, it had to have been. They never took off. They weren't allowed. If somebody had it and you're you're if someone in your family didn't have it. They would like try to organize a play date yeah, to send the kid over to party. get it. Yeah. Because uh, I knew somebody that commu- like communion was coming up in May, and it was like February or April or mo- I'm sorry March. April's too close. And they were like, "All right, go play with Nick. Get it now. Three weeks, whatever. Two weeks, whatever. We're done. And you're good parties. for communion. Yeah. I think yeah, it's chicken pox party. I think it's done though. I don't think people get chicken pox anymore. No, I think there's pro- it, it'll I, it'll pop up every you now. Guys and are then. covered in red dots, right? Yeah. 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 I never got it. Itchy as fuck. There's a vaccine though, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm but pretty I think sure now uh, uh, people don't trust it. any vaccine. Yeah. Take a bath in oatmeal. I'll take like an oatmeal vaccine? bath. I've never heard my. Do that for like, sumac in the ass. When I got as sprayed well. by a skunk, I, I got take, skunked like, in Canada Valley. Baths. Tomato sauce bath. That skunked. How how bad? Pretty bad. I did. You can't trust those vaccines. Tomato bath, and then I just waited in the public <laughs> pool for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Threw a Nerf ball at a skunk, and it ate a bite, and I ran after it. Now chicken pox, they just say it's COVID. So yeah. No. I've never even. That's been what skunked. I say. You've never been skunked. I've never been skunked. Oh, it reeks. I've, I, been, I've had skunks walk up and so close they brushed my leg and I just never got skunked. Who is skunk whisperer? I was out on the phone, the cell phone one night, talking to somebody in my driveway, and I thought a cat walked by me, but it was a skunk, and he was walking, <laughs> and I just froze. But you really gotta, you really gotta agitate him. Threw a Nerf skunk. ball at it. <laughs> they they do not do want it. to spray you. Where'd you get skunk, Kyle? In my yard. No <laughs> way. Yeah. It was so cute. <laughs> yeah. And you went and tried to touch it? I forget. I was so young, but I remember taking like a tomato sauce bath. Oh my god! A tomato sauce bath? Yeah, his mom only had paste picante. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tomato sauce doesn't. Uh, for it was something else. Dunks are awesome. Yeah. They they really are cool. Yeah, they're great animals. Oh, are porcupines? Yeah. 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 Billy's got a much. porcupine. Fuck. Yeah. No, it's bullshit. An oh, a hedgehog. Ball. That's got to be a hedgehog. Yeah. It's got to be a hedgehog. You ever hit an armadillo with your car? They no. Bounce. I was watching a video of some porcupines like f- fighting off a fucking leopard or something like that. Porcupines protecting their young against a leopard. Like they I shoot you think their that quills out? They don't shoot them, but they're all spiked up. So it's like if you even get close yeah. to them, you're gonna get a. What was the one in Homeward Bound that yeah. shoots the thing? Is a porcupine? Oh yeah, oh, it shot it. Got in the dog's face. No, not sassy. Chance gets it. Chance in his face. Yeah. That was a good film. Doesn't age well. Uh, yeah. And if you look at the making of how they did Homeward Bound, I think. Or no, that was Milo and Otis. Yeah, they killed like six dogs. Yeah, they, they, the cats, they were just, when they were done with the scene, just toss them like in the river. Wait, really? Yeah. Whoa! That's what a porcupine looks yeah, like? Yeah, well, that was a big one. Oh, those quills sound sharp as fuck, too. Oh, oh, he went around the back door. They're not getting it. Is it protecting its little baby? Nope. Two babies. No. Nope. And it's working. Two, par- two parents and two babies. Jesus. And it, it What's works. chasing them? What is that? The leopard? This better not be a plot twist. Get him! Yeah, they, it's not going to win, is it? Oh, now it's got its... Probably got one in it. Oh, oh God, he's close. I mean, that would suck to eat, though. Still. I don't think they have the mature quills yet. That's why he's going for the babies. And there's tiny enough to eat. Oh, that's sick. Good for the porcupines. Right? Isn't this kind of like sick? how we can't show like sports highlights on Pick Central, but you can just animal fights. On <laughs> yeah. <laughs> show. It's nuts. Oh, that was an awesome okay, win for the pull up that clip. No, no, can't do it. <laughs> okay. The bar comes and just hits all of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it feels like. Feels like if the tiger had some teamwork, it'd be game over. That cat looked like it was waiting for the camera to go live. What is this porcupine? It's just there's no baby. Oh, it's just trying to get some porcupine ass. Porcupines rock. He's floating no floating out there like he's a peacock. Yeah. I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, like a turkey. Oh shit. There's a lot of these videos. Because that they the cats have to win some. Is the is the is the leopard there bleeding? Leopards never learn, do they? Yeah, it looks like his paws are bleeding. 
Damn, porcupine might have oh, yeah, fucked from it up. Doing that, it's not learning. Yeah, I mean, they must taste fucking good then. Yeah, Just keep doing this. So, look delicious. It looked like a blooming Shut, onion. Can you show well, a video of back, one succeeding yeah. in porcupine? <laughs> a kebab, <laughs> like on its own. A deep quill. fried porcupine. Yeah. Why can't it just like sit down and just like like a turtle? It should be able to, but it might just be on. I its think ass. there are entry points a leopard can get to. It has to show him its back at all times. Ah. that's where the the quills really are. It's a tough way to fight. Your with back? your back. Oh, your back to something. I could keep my ass to you in a fight. I don't think you could. You my neck, my back. You think any animals out there in the wild just like bang each other and they're not the same? Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I think that happens sometimes. Would be the best crossbreed of animals. Oh. Human and dog. I think ligers exist. Huh? <laughs> 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 about a shock? What about a shark gorilla? That's fire. Which Where would it live, would be, Rico? Yeah, how would it get? How would a shark and a oh, gorilla? They even meet. Where are they fucking? Like a, a shark and a hippopotamus. How about that? Oh, that works. It's like outback. It could be land and sea. Oh. Oh, oh. you're just thinking of eating it. Where are they gonna fuck, Rico? Does the gorilla go into the shallow the water? Shark's got to have an asshole, no? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a shark has an asshole. Sharks have assholes, too. You didn't read Dave's book? Yeah. <laughs> the book is so funny. That book would be, like, a, an incredible seller if it was released today. Sharks have feelings. Can can we? Can it be re-released? I don't know. It should be able to. Like, 10th anniversary edition? pull up a picture of it? He, it? Milmore, I think, did the illustrations. Crush where, that. Milmore, where's Milmore? Milmore's still based on a mass, right? I believe so. Does he he might be here ever. Here. Really? I don't but know. But if he comes here, where is like? You could tell me Milmore has been working <laughs> in this office for the last year, and I'd be like, sure. Does anyone really know what he looks like? Yeah, no, yeah. I know him yeah. well. Like I don't I, know him well enough like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I know no, he's a Milmore's genius. A I know he's a OG. Genius. Sharks have feelings too. He's just on like retainer. They need something. They go to the pen. He comes back. It's done in fucking five minutes, and it's like it's crazy. Yeah, he's the best. He did the he cartoons. On like a yeah, thirty under thirty list or some shit like that. He should be. Been. I love those cartoons. Wasn't there like more was like employee like number like nine? No, he had the cartoons media. that were very recent, like in the uh, yeah, no, like the new one, the new ones. Back, yeah. 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 yeah, he got more stock than Nate. Hey, Brandon, you got to go to to your daughter's softball game. That rained out. Oh, oh! oh! popcorn day rains again. What did Rico say? I just found out about 20 minutes ago it got rained out. That's it, she, the text before Tommy was. Do they do cheers still? Chance? Um, uh, not really. No, those were the uh, worst. My not sisters very, were the horrible. Not, the, 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 these teams aren't really into it. The worst. Kill the wormies. Kill, kill yeah, the that's wormies. Bad. Oh, my God. I have them in my nightmares. Well, HBCU women that do it are fucking awesome, though. Yeah. They're all yeah, they were doing it at the brunch place I was at in Savannah. They were? La <laughs> it was funny, but they got kicked out. They did? Yeah, like the, like the cops came and everything. Black yeah. women do brunch well. They do, yeah. They're the worst one, KB. What? I mean, uh, you ever hear the- do softball chants. They're the worst things we've ever- H-O-M. Wait, what is yeah. it? They would just spell out the S-I-N-G-L-E. Oh, that one, but the- So the expedited one. With the single and the, where they do the cycle quick. Uh, I never heard that. We need a single, just a little double. T R I P L E, home yes. run, home run. I'm like, I wanted to blow my brains yeah. out, re respectively. <laughs> hit that ball. Responsibly. You can't hit that ball. <laughs> How were the HBCU ones? Clever. I got. I'm gonna find a. Uh, I'm gonna find a video because they're fucking incredible. I must have watched it back 20 times just because they had such sweet fucking cadences. Or they, and they were all so into it. They were all having a fucking blast. There we go. Ball in the dirt. It gets so aggressive. Do you remember that? Was it? Was there a lot of drama with parents, girls, like every game? I'll give you a good one from my neighborhood. Cheerleading had some big time drama. Yeah, big time drama. They collected money for the shoes. There was like a well-to-do family that was helping buy other girls sneakers. Somebody was like, "Hurt, hurt, yes." Ball in the dirt. Ball in the dirt. Ball in the dirt. Ball, in the dirt. Ball, ball in the dirt. She was the woman of taking the money. Meanwhile, she bought five other girls sneakers. It was a whole big to-do. They're gonna throw the parents out of the parish. The mother shows up and drops her off at cheerleading practice and goes. Any of these bitches say anything to you, let me know. I'll punch them in the face. They're 11 years old. Yeah, like, no, those are the worst. This was a wild drop. They probably won Worlds in Orlando. Oh, she yeah. hit that ball in the dirt. Ball in the dirt. That's, That's electric. Ball in the dirt. 
Yeah, I'm cheerleading moms floor. are crazy. It's it's dance moms, floor. cheerleading moms, because they're trying to live vicariously. Stop through playing their in a football league. We switched football leagues because the cops are being cold every weekend. For what? Like we stopped playing Staten Island boys. I went to Staten Island Pee Wee because the cops. Are How were the umps in Staten Island? But they were crazy. Uh, uh they were, you know, usual shit. Yeah, they're crazy everywhere. Bunch of characters. We did have a ref growing up, crackheads, do we? No, no joke, crackheads, do we? Well, it's, well, describe him. Oh, he's a crackhead. Okay. Oh. How's he doing now? Who's Ed? Name? I got the notification a couple of years ago, yeah. Oh, no. And then he refed our old? men's leagues, and you were old enough to, like, talk to him. He'd have a beer with you after the game, but. I bet. Be like, don't guess, Stewie. He was just, like, he was bad. Share a pipe with him? This was year, This was decades ago, or what? You when we were growing up, yeah, you'd be like, the parents would slip, and they'd be like, like, the refs would come in, you know, for, like, the two-game set or the three-game set. I'd be like, oh, the coach would be like, oh, shit, we got crack at Stewie. So you were like 10. We were like ten years old, and we were like, "Dad, look, it's crackhead Stewie." Like, no joke. My parents had to like be like, "You can't say that." He, he recently died. Yeah, like so you can get a bunch of years on crack. What? Uh, yeah. yeah, dude. Uh, Gilly and Wallow talk about a crackhead on their podcast. This dude named Karate that I know from like North Philly. My high school was in yeah. North Philly, and I saw this dude Karate for fucking years. He would come outside. People would like pay him money to rap, but he was like a crackhead and. Like Wallow talks about on the podcast, being like, "I wish, I wish fucking karate was my dad." Like, I, "Mom, I wish you fuck karate," and she was like, "Karate pays for pussy, and he's a crackhead." <laughs> it's hilarious, but I know the same crackhead because he's so legendary. I think crackheads stick are, around. yeah, they're un- unkillable. They kind of preserve themselves. I mean, every town needs a good crackhead. We didn't have a crackhead. We had a you guy with shell shock from the war, and he rode around on his bike with a bunch of flags. Right, he wasn't a crackhead. Moon dog, he's Moondog, a legend. No. No, Moon dog, he's a booze hound. I don't know who the crackhead was in my town. My dad never find him. Yeah, <laughs> who could it be? I don't know. My dad stayed up all hours of the night looking for him. him yeah, <laughs> it was weird. The crackhead out. He would stay out in the <gasps> barn looking for him. He would wander in the woods looking for him. He's never, he never. Howdy, are you the town crackhead? He never <laughs> would quite. Had find never him. got in front of a mirror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find him. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> there he is. In the wall. It's like OJ after <laughs> uh, he would always just be like on a golf course, like we're still looking for the killer. <laughs> Dante taking shots. You? No, just uh, how are you looking at people taking shots right now? I was scrolling, I'm having fun, we're yakking, breeding. Oh. Having a it's popcorn day. I know it stopped me on my. I'm trip. starting to get stressed about. Me too. I want to start cleaning. I want to start. About I, I was about Remember, to ask. Mal sex gonna help as well. We're gonna. I'm. Yeah. I start cleaning. Stay and clean all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I just I'll like to put most. some in a bucket right now if that's okay. Why don't you go oh. grab the broom? I'll go get the gr- 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 Yeah. What's the so plan of action? And grab a empty trash can. I think it's broom and then vacuum cleaner. I'll do high noon. Yo, you want to do high noon, Ron? Of course I do. Out the perfect time. Yeah, yeah. Perfect time. Let's talk about high noon, hard seltzer. It's the freaking weekend. I was surreptitiously enjoying high I was surreptitiously enjoying high noons last night during the NFL draft show. And man were they sweet. I could finally come clean. Fall? He got smoked in the face. What with the, ball. the fuck? <laughs> On his back. Do we have a clip right of that? Someone threw him a ball. I think Spider threw him a ball. He's got hit in the face. Fell? What I just n- happened? Oh, he's good. Yeah, he's 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 goofing. Back. You know what's not a goof to me though? High noon. A hard seltzer made with real vodka, real juice, and sparkling water. And it's actually made with vodka, not the malt. Like the other hard seltzers, nothing cheeses me off more than when I go to a pub, bar, establishment, tavern, ask for a seltzer. They tell me that they have some off-brand bunk. I don't want the off-brand bunk. I want the pure, high noon, hard seltzer, the perfect refreshing drink for a hot day. I could take the big cans if they had them, too. I can handle the big cans, 700 can. mil- milliliters. I can handle it. Peach and pineapple. Of course, I love the grapefruit, but that doesn't stop me from... Enjoying 100 calories worth of kiwi, guava, mango, passion fruit. You'll feel like you are on a tropical oasis with these high noons. You're going to enjoy yourself. And, hey, the next day is not going to be that bad either because you're not putting that off-brand bunk into your body. Look for them on Drizzly or at your local convenience store or your liquor store right by you or visit highnoonspirits.com to find it near you. Imagine if they had those big cans when uh, Rico (laughs) goes... Found out oh my were, God! Wouldn't he would be looking like Marie Antoinette? <laughs> <laughs> no, she, he'd be looking like Ichabod Crane. He's <laughs> uh, looking like he went down one of those uh, Kansas water slides. <laughs> <laughs> Shitterbond, Shitterbond. <laughs> 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 
probably accurate because <laughs> you're, you're the, the king. Bob Crane. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> trying to throw a bowling ball. You like that crane? Like a Bob Crane. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then I'll drop an Ichabod yeah, crane. It always is. about Ichabod the headless crane. It always is. What a what funny fucker. fucking That's name. hilarious. I'm just trying to write a horror book. And we're gonna, I'm going to name yeah. Ichabod. <laughs> Ichabod. <laughs> Ichabod. <laughs> Motherfucking Ichabod. I might name my son Ichabod. <laughs> oh, you got him. And you got him. Ichabod, Ichabod cats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ichabod Crane. He had no oh, head. He had no head. He, he, would, uh, he put a, pu- he he had put a, a pumpkin, pumpkin on his head. He had a puppy. He was a goof. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, no, my mom, like, if you ran, oh, look, at, look at this kid. He runs like Ichabod Crane. I never. That's the headless yeah, horseman. It's like weird. <laughs> the headless horseman. <laughs> That's an underrated character. Yeah, yeah huh? it really is. Can you get us a picture of Ichabod Crane? He <laughs> told my mom now. I didn't know that's why they meant it. <laughs> show, show Ichabod Crane. Ichabod, Ichabod it was like, is such a ridiculous thing. It sounds like <laughs> fucking Ichabod. sounds like an acronym for like stopping the the police, yeah, yeah, the FBI. Yeah. Ichabod. Yeah, I'm Ichabod. <laughs> <laughs> Ichabod. I don't believe in capitalism. I'm an Ichabod. Oh, look at this dude. Oh, dude. I didn't know that's why they did it. <laughs> An Ichabod. Are we, we're, do, we're going in shifts, right? Yeah, all right. Enough brooms. We're going shifts. Someone's got a yak. We're. Damn. We're going shifts. Right. You guys do this, and then we'll get the we'll get a, a vacuum. No, that one's no good. we're good for right now, Spider. Can we put on uh? Can we put on uh? Like a karaoke of closing time or some shit? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Before you do it. Shit, we want to take a picture and be like, wait. Wait, 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 stop, stop for a second. Move out of the way, Rico. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to recreate the Blue Jays picture and be like, my pregnant husband has to pick up all the popcorn. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's counterproductive. He can't break balls. He's just breaking balls. All right, Ichabod Crane. All right, Ichabod. Ichabod. I think I'm sweating from not smoking weed last night. Uh, Ichabod. Right, we the name Ichabod's well. making me high. <laughs> Giggling like a stoner. Well, now I feel bad that you guys are doing this. We're just sitting here. What are you going to say? All right, you Let sit down. Do you sit down. You sit down. Let me tap in. You sit down. Shay and Brandon sit down. Rico, you need more brooms? We need more brooms. Or the vacuum. It's all in the in the chair. Sure. All right. Rico, why don't you get to quit? No, I was talking. I was talking about bigger picture. Bigger picture. Why did he get to quit and then come back to the company? <laughs> You came back pretty quick too. Well, no, I didn't get to quit. They didn't let me quit. I, I technically didn't quit. I said I was quitting, but then there was no relapse. I mean, you I hugged every, you hugged everybody. Yeah, that's for your own. Yeah, I mean, you did that on your own. This key card. This is where. Does he have a key card now? I never got it back. You don't have a key card. No. So you don't work here now. Yeah, I do. I got that app. Oh, <laughs> app. Oh, mouse app. Bravo. Rizio. So we, oh, we're, real? we're just going to be vacuuming while doing the show? <laughs> we're still doing the show. I think we have to do one more ad. Brandon, you've had plenty of dogs in your time. Oh, I have. Uh, well, you should feed them farmer's dog. It's like Big Cat Pizza. Delicious. Is that that real dog food? Yeah. When you get, look at bags of dog food, you see pictures of bright carrots, juicy steaks. When you open the bag, it yeah. doesn't really look like it. Oh, it doesn't look like dog food? A lot of false oh. advertising. Unlike Outback, great sponsor. Yeah. Uh, so feed your dog the farmer's dog. It's real, fresh, healthy food with whole meat and veggies gently cooked in human-grade kitchens to preserve their nutritional value. Just tell them um, 
you so your dog what are your dogs like favorite regular foods oh they love to eat from the table but you shouldn't feed a dog from the table is that right i never you had a dog no nah, you shouldn't feed a dog from the table because human food's not really made for dogs you can have chocolate but this is well that's true yeah. but this is the good stuff made for dogs yes yes um, what dogs should be eating the farmer's dog food arrives in pre-portioned ready to serve packs conveniently delivered on your schedule dog people Why's across the country hey nate nate have a seat buddy Dog people have across the country have ordered millions of meals. Okay, then fucking Farmers leave them. Uh, it's n- it's never been easier to invest in your dog's health with fresh with fresh food. Get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash yak. Plus, you get free shipping. Just go to thefarmersdog.com slash yak to get 50% off. That's farmersdog.com slash jack brandon i actually have a solution for popcorn day yeah so you and i participated wholeheartedly gave it our alls right did a great job we bought in so popcorn day has been removed from not my name wheel right but something i want to do is add popcorn day two but it's gonna be different it's not gonna have anything to do it's not gonna have anything to do with actual movie theater popcorn right what it'll be is because people were encouraging we go to the movies or do something off sure off show we all go to a corn maze right and race and in the middle let's say there are 10 of us there will be nine balloons and everyone's gonna have to pop their balloon and once you pop your balloon you're out so uh, you have to pop your own you have to find your own balloon in the middle they're all be in the middle they're all gonna be color on coded? the outside no color coded in the middle yeah, yeah. Just be well, anywhere they'll, in the they'll, maze. They'll have, they'll have their name. Oh. Where's the closest corn maze? Probably not close. Yeah. No. Might have to wait till we're in Chicago. Maybe. Might have to go to Iowa and do it. A lot of corn there, out there. There has to be. They got baseball fields and corn out there. I mean, this is a rural enough. Rural There's enough. corn in Jersey? Corn, yeah, corn Jersey, mazes? Jersey, Jersey corn. I've never heard Jersey corn. I've heard Jersey tomatoes. Jersey corn, Jersey tomatoes. Jersey's shockingly rural in some places. Yes. Yeah. Lots of farmland south. Have I, have I spun the wheel yet? Might as well do that shit. Yeah, let's do that. T- TJ, if you want to spin the wheel, the wheel is spinning right now. Oh. All right, it's dry. All right. All right. Yeah, that's fine. This is a. All right. We're good. We'll we'll move all the chairs after. <laughs> all right, I I got I do have to go. All right. Why? Okay. Why? So you're in popcorn day. There's there's nothing better than making a huge mess and living in that moment where you're like, I'll never have to clean it up. Like, uh, like just destroying a bunch of shit. You don't get it that often. Yeah. Finish, used to finish beer bottles in college, throw them against the wall, big pile of glass. You're like, I'll never. Have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. Big guys, did you hear my replacement idea for Popcorn Day? Adding, right. adding something to my name wheel. Popcorn Day 2. Uh, <laughs> so it'll be a... Uh, we'll all go I'm, to... Uh, wait, wait. Go on. Wait, is he telling <laughs> you all about the Popcorn Idea? Popcorn Day 2. You, you, it, you it have my interest. It won't you have anything to do with popcorn. Like movie popcorn. Okay. But since we wanted to do something somewhat off show, we all go to a corn maze. Mm-hmm. Oh. Race to the middle, oh. where balloons with our names on it will be, and you pop your balloon. And once you do that, you're out. Like the last it. person will have some type Bro, of punishment. We'll finish after. The only problem is, Stephen Shea, uh, that pop your balloon and you're out. You're still in the middle of a corn maze. <laughs> but you're racing to the middle? Isn't I got that, lost in that a corn maze. Why would you want to race to the middle? Isn't there just an exit? I think, I think better than that, you go find your oh. balloon, and then you run it out, and then you can pop it. Ooh, Okay. Okay, hear me out. What if we bought a trampoline? Wait, what? What's yeah. a popcorn on a trampoline? Everyone yeah. sits there. Oh, yes. One person jumps, and the trampoline, there's a moat around the trampoline with piranhas. That was a fun game, that popping corn thing. On the so floor. much fun. I loved getting popped. Yeah. Best. It was the first time you got popped, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you never forget your first. Mine was my big... Uh, so it was over at this at the neighbor's house, but we weren't bouncing with them. It was me and my Chinese neighbor, Vincent Gu, G-U. 
Tall as hell, right? Tall as hell. 6'11". Oh, Still is. Goofy on his jersey. Looks goo. We played lacrosse with him. He just stood in front of the goal. We call him Great Wall of China. <laughs> his last name was Goo, G-U. On that big-ass jersey. Yeah. Named Tiny. as big on that triple X jersey. Wish him well. I think he's a mechanical engineer now. Fuck yeah. What are you doing to your fucking microphone stand? He's fixing it. Broke, but you know that you're twisting it around. No, I actually just fixed it. We spun the wheel? Shut up. Yeah, it's dry. Dude? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It better not be Antonio Brown. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hey. God. Giovanni Bernard. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's the last, the last one ever. Oh. Sad. Fun player to root for. You're giddy. I love that guy. He's got a great name. I actually, sometimes I'll, uh, he'll come up on my Instagram algorithm once in a while, and I follow him. And every time I see it, I just comment, Giovanni Bernard. Just say his how, do you, how do you comment that? Type his name. <laughs> well, yeah, com- his dings? I, no, I hit comment and then I write his name under his post. <laughs> He's how do you comment it like that? that? It just says what Giovanni Bernard. You throw in like weird symbols? Like he sees the comment and it's just you commenting his name. <laughs> throw yeah. in like the Italian flag. Oh, he knows me. Right, but. <laughs> how do Bernard. you stylize the text to give it that sound? Capitals. <laughs> no, no. Can you just don't cap- do it? Can we find one of these Instagram posts? <laughs> what capitals? You, you don't even do the little fucking Italian hands? No, just capitals. Some you gotta do the Italian hands. I guess. Do you see how that would be confusing for anyone else? You but do it like more fans. But he not to him. He knows it's you. Yeah, but not to him. But okay. he he yeah. probably has a lot of followers, and he might not just see you immediately. I think he sees he's that. just. But does he see that it's you? Does he follow you? Yes, I think so. Like from an outsider, it's like this random Asian dude just keeps, like, confirming that it is Giovanni Bernard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he. When there I'm it is. <laughs> <laughs> two likes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's two likes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's yes, two. that is Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Giovanni Bernard. Steven. I'm all for this because really the best jokes are the ones that you know make you laugh. So it's like you're having a good time. Yeah, I don't. From I don't, the outside, it is very la- funny. Labeling his name. I don't <laughs> yeah. like go out of my way, but yeah, if he's popping up my feet, I'm gonna yeah, comment yeah, that. Of course, that's Giovanni Bernard. You should go out of your way now. I bet it's gonna get way more likes now. When also, I- wait, go back to that post. <laughs> Giovanni Bernard. So, th- so they shared it with him, but. Someone could see this from the UNC football account and be like a memorable moment in Chrome, and you're like, "Who is that?" Yeah, you might have helped. Oh, see Giovanni Bernard. Yeah, yep. Do we have any others? He doesn't post that often. <laughs> you're the best, Stephen. <laughs> you really are. He, when I met him, he said a bunch of it. Whenever it happens, a bunch of his friends will send it to him. So I like that. What do you mean? Like whenever oh, I would the, do the one videos. of those videos, yes, yes, yes. Can we like put on a sad song and you do a minute straight of Giovanni Bernard to yeah. commemorate him? Something that we know will get sent to him by his friends. I feel like you I have, have to. to do it to a song, like, like I s- it Sarah McLaughlin, like yeah. in the arms of an angel. That's, that's oh, okay. What I was thinking. Or uh, Daniel Powder had a bad day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or I will remember you or some shit. Yeah, I could do any of those. I think. Yeah, let's cue that up. Who's I'll remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah that I is. You know what? Who is that? That was Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> yeah. All right there. Who is that, Ron? Leo and Ron? Oh, it's Sarah McLaughlin. Is it McLaughlin uh, as well? That's a sad song, Princess. Is it? Yes. It's who? Sarah McLaughlin. Yes. Both she of them are She sad does all that sad stuff? Yeah, that's, that's what her brand was. Really? That was awesome. awesome. You know how a nice little sad run? Am I remember Melissa Etheridge? Wasn't she said? I uh, heard she was more lesbian. So wait, hold on. Let me just get a refresher of how this goes. What about Enya? Uh, okay. Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or Giovanni right. Bernard. Sing, yeah, sing it to the tune. Voice, so Use some of the lyrics. Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> Giovanni <laughs> Bernard. Oh my God. Giovanni <laughs> Bernard. Here we go. 
Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Oh my God. You got it. You got it. You got it. Find it. This is Bernard. I need that in the car. The course, right, not, we can, not maybe just talk about it for a little yeah, bit. Maybe be like, uh, uh, let's talk about your times. It was once a all need to be the backup singers. It was a buck. Drafted in Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> he was a Bengal number 25 <laughs> from UNC. Caleb Presley. <laughs> he signed with the Bucks one year. <laughs> he was our third down back. <laughs> he got hurt. <laughs> Scoring a touchdown <laughs> at the Los Angeles Rams. <laughs> <laughs> he was out for several <laughs> games. <laughs> it was sad for my Twitter interaction. <laughs> But he came back and rode the bench. <laughs> so admirable. Let's do it right here. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Thank you for the memory. <laughs> yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Fuck. Yes. Steven! Can we please put out a whole that, Stephen Che Bucks album? That was man. unreal. I'm in tears right now. God, he's so great. <laughs> the R. Fresh at. The R. I'm going to watch that back a hundred yeah. times tonight. He was all right. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit better. But, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what you think, dude? Wait, did you play that was your best earlier? performance ever. That was oh, borderline perfect. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. So yeah, I was hoping he'd be better. Kind of a bust. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. You got you to post that and tag him. See if he'll, see if he'll co-collaborate on that. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Invite him to co-collaborate. He, he was a very good dude when I met him. And the Yak people are so clever. That they're already figuring out how the name fits in other, like a rock one, a fucking. Well, oh, I know he's going to M. Are you down with JPP? No, what I need is I need everyone on the. <laughs> I need everyone on the yak to follow Giovanni Bernard at any time he posts. Just let's everybody say his name. Say back his, name. Yeah, all say his name. All caps. Oh, with no. Yeah, no other nothing. emojis. Or, no, or under Just his name. Giovanni Bernard. It just gave me a giggle. <laughs> Even Shay still wins popcorn day. How do you do the R? How do you do the R? You got a couple of those. were incredible. Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Hey, beautifully done, brother. Thank you. You got a nice singing voice. Thank you. A good tone. I'd like to sing another sad song and let him rock to it. We got to let Shannon get. We need a. Remember Shannon, the yak fan who has. Oh, yeah. Perfect pitch or whatever. Oh, we need yes. to get a, an assessment of uh, what what uh, J 
Che just did there because I think it might have been a master class. You know, Jesus. Master class? Is Linda still interact with you guys? A bit. Yeah, she, she calls, calls in every now and then. National title game. I mean, we got Athens North up in Philly. We got all them dogs up in Philly now. Yeah. Her son also writes for the dozen now. Really? Yeah. Huh. He's the real Alan. He is? He is? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> That's not his name. It made sense. It made sense for a, a, a hot second right there. I'm going to burlesque tonight. What? Yeah. Going to burlesque, yeah. What does that mean? I actually don't know. It's the same people that do like a... Like the burlesque Christmas show every year, just fucking. Well, you did, describing it, you just said burlesque. You don't know what burlesque is. You don't know what a burlesque dancer is. Oh, I don't. That's why. I Racy added, dancing. Adding the word Christmas didn't really do help me. Do a Star at all. Wars burlesque show in New York City. It's I just fat. Think. That's another thing you've just added to burlesque. These ladies ain't. These ladies ain't fat. Oh really? They're in good shape. They're like ring. They're like uh, cir- it's like circus almost, but circus with a little bit of nudity and. What was I thinking of? Uh, I guess there's some. There's some types of burlesque sure. that involve fatties. I, saying, with I, was, I know what you meant. I think you meant yeah. grotesque. No, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> what was the B? What's the could be burlesque. Buxom. 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 A buxom burlesque show buxom. would be like a... Buxom, 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 buxom isn't always over. Yeah, no, it's it just big titties. Big titties. Yeah. 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 Huge titties. Buxom lady. You know what I love when people put the M in voluptuous and they make it voluptuous. Oh, oh that? sounds like a snack. And they say it on accident. They go voluptuous. voluptuous. They don't know what they're saying. They think they're saying it right, but they say voluptuous yeah. instead. Voluptuous. That shit sounds good. She was voluptuous. <laughs> a voluptuous woman. A voluptuous man. <laughs> cancer. You got a cancer? That's like cancer. <laughs> cancer. A voluptuous. Cancer. Voluptuous. I love shoes. I thought Sass was going no brim. Hey, how was Jerry chopping those brims off last night? I don't know. He he did Drake look like scissors. a Muslim, though. There were Watch multiple one. people that br- went brimless after him. Yeah. Drake says it. Chopping my steez. Is that yours? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's a brimless guy. I invented that. I didn't Shit. invent it, but I brought it to the floor. Oh, you invented it? That shit's voluptuous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's your won. shit. Wait, you were in your... St- that was when I made it. I was in my house. Oh. I went out on Case Race 1. <laughs> da, 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 da. Do you want me, Bernard? Do you want me, Bernard? Do you want me? I can't wait for it. You're down with JPP. <laughs> You're down with JPP. But, um, <laughs> you found the it's a Green Day song. Oh, Time of Your Life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another running back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Che? That seems like a song Che loves. I know that too. song, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Think you could yeah. work with that? Well, end Another us, run. End the yak with one more. <laughs> Another sure. running Maybe back, fourth run. down. Hey, write, some, cold. Yeah, write some lyrics first. I'll just do it. Oh, you oh, got it off top shit. of your dome? I don't know. I mean, it's He's like yeah, Jay-Z, you got bro. It, no you got pen. It. All right. Like, we'll pen. Out Giovanni pen. He can just go. You think that's true, Ron? Jay-Z and Biggie sat down for the first time. He gave him the paper and the pen, and he slid it back, and they were both like, oh, you too? Uh, Always like folklore. That does sound interesting. I don't think it, it's too complex. What they're saying is too complex. There's like an old Snoop Dogg verse that he actually, like on the dog pound, there's some that he like actually freestyled, and you can tell that it's just he went in. But Lil Wayne style of freestyling, he'll go in and do two lines, and then he'll stop, and then he'll think up something. So he's not technically writing down, but, but it's stopped. not like. <coughs> I mean, when we saw Benny the Butcher, yeah, I mean he didn't. He basically listened to it like three or four times. He's like, "All right, I got it." Yeah, I think that that's something that a lot of rappers like to say they do, but they just don't like to be seen. I, yeah, I would say that none of them legitimately freestyle. <coughs> yeah, they're not just making. Why it would up. you? Oh well, they just said Jay Z never wrote anything down. Same with Biggie. Oh, never wrote anything down. They went to go collab on a song, and he was like, "All right, you want to write some stuff? Your verse." And he was like, "Nah, I don't use that." And the other one's like, "I don't use that." Interesting. There's no way that he was just in there coming up with my stamina be enough for Pamela no, Anderson. Like think about it, it not just head. coming up with that on the top of his head. No, they're but typing it up in a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> with the rest of the unemployed people. Work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people pretending to have jobs. Little Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to the same WeWork as me. <laughs> 
How much? What percentage of people you think that you see at a Starbucks on any given day are lying to their spouse Ooh. about having a job and they pretend to be out Ooh. for the entire day? I think that it's five percent of yeah. everybody you see. Yeah. I don't think it's a massive percentage, but there's a non-negligible amount of people just pretending to have a job. Yeah, more than zero. Oh, yeah. But then, how long can that last until you justify having to pay for shit? Yeah. Or the what, other person's like, did you go about a week? What? Hmm? <laughs> Don't be mean to Rico. Why? He does this thing, Dan. It's my he's, thing. He's on thin ice, and then he just drags everybody yeah, down. Yeah, that's the true. With him. Drag you to the middle of the pond with me. Crazy. Throwing under the bus when the bus is coming for you is. Yeah. 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 I don't throw him under the bus. I grab him grab and bring him, him under the, or with like me. Here. And then you back up and yeah. roll him Hold right on to me. Again. That's hit by this bus. <laughs> That's the thing. You could. You have time to step out of the way from oh, the no, bus, no, no, no. but you're just like, no, I'll pull people in I front. I can of never me. get out from under the bus. I just got to get Rico in there with me. Fuck yeah. If enough people get hit by this bus, maybe we'll hit back. Yeah, maybe we'll stop the bus. Yeah. <laughs> we got Mincy there with us now. That'll slow it down. Hmm? Yeah. Nah, Mincy can always get out from under the bus. Yeah, he's Wrigley. Just takes a different shape. <laughs> he's T. He's T. One thousand. <laughs> Just walks through the bus. <laughs> <laughs> no. Comes out, just shakes it off like this. Like, what was that? <laughs> I guess I didn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he left at eight thirty for the flight. Right. <laughs> so he could have easily done a wake up with Vinci. And the fact that you said. uh like you got some time to kill. He's like, yeah, just waiting for to get into the hotel room. It's like, oh, like three what time doesn't help himself. Twelve thirty land. Uh, two o'clock. Two to taking a nap. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's twelve thirties out of Laguardia. Oh, there was one out of JFK and Laguardia. Well, J- Laguardia is about ten minutes from here. Should have just done a a groomsman wake up. Mince. It would have been electric. Even have done it, it like in the Uber. O'clock. He could have done it in the Uber. Yeah, that's done true. As long as the show. As long as he wants. Twenty. All he's got to do is wake up. Well, no, he's got ad reads. How many? Two. Huh. More than me. <sighs> One more producer, too. Those two guys. more than me. Oh, two, two more producer. Yeah, my fault. Mm-hmm. Guys are full time. Brandon, but you, you, you probably have a bunch of your own producers, too, right? My dream when I set out a bar stool a couple of years ago was to just go back to Mississippi and have them hire me, somebody that follows me around, lets me do stuff. And now he has achieved that dream. God bless him. You see what God has done for other people. Yeah. Make you pray a little bit harder at at church on Sunday. Maybe I'm not acting right. You're right. Maybe you get right with God. Maybe you donate a little bit more money to church. Boy, you ain't acting. You talking about my tithe? Faith don't look so bad. 10% or what? You talking about my tithe? 8%? Uh, 10. Yay. Embrace the faith, dude. Mm -hmm. Help me. Help me. (sighs) We're a religious company now. Yeah. Are we getting out of here, or are we? Yeah, we're, Steven's got his last song, and then we're getting out of here. You ready, Steven? It's been an awesome yak. Popcorn day. I, Popcorn day. I really resounding think. Resounding success. Yeah. I really think it, it could, I, I could have powered through that. Shit. That would have been funny at the end, just like full it, belly. We all could have. It. it was just the fact that it was going to be the worst listening Loud show it. of all time. It's going to take too long. We couldn't talk. But I'm not that funny, so like, just let me eat. I Agreed. <laughs> That's my. That was what I rationed out. I was like, let the. I'll do the eating. The aces, yeah. Let the aces pitch here. I'll no, just, no, no. Just eat. Then you just zoom in. I'm fucking dying over. Oh, Rico, you've been a breath of fresh air. On Rico's a great yacker. Yeah, yeah two two oh, yeah. Fridays in a row. It's been crushing. Real environment. <clears throat> All positivity. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, it makes you think it's probably just Dave, huh? He's the one who kind of drives <laughs> both down. Is that well, what you were saying to me before? Three, yeah. The Brandon might that, be in that yeah. boat, too. He thinks he's dragging him. You, you were saying before, it's like, when it's just <laughs> me and you, man, like, we're good. It's just Dave. <laughs> <laughs> real real suit. Not to get negative. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's cut somebody out of this equation. Uh, Are you ready, Che? Yeah. This be <laughs> he's always so confident. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's crazy. Shit. <laughs> Love this song. Last episode of Seinfeld. Beep. Another off season of folks stuck in the road. Right. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's grab <laughs> you by the injuries and direct you where to go. 
Should I retire after 10 seasons? My name is Giovanni Bernard. Something unpredictable. I just got married. It's time to go on my honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't think he could follow up, but he's doing it. He's doing it. That instrumental play. And let's rock the second verse. On Instagram, I have a picture of Scrappy Doo. <laughs> number 25 on the field and number one in your heart. <laughs> My name is Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> I am a pass catching running back from North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, just do all Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> Giovanni Bernard. I think it's a beautiful song. Giovanni Bernard. On the Bucks, I scored three touchdowns. <laughs> 25 catches over two years. I wish my legs could have stayed much healthier. <laughs> I would have gotten so much more tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Not money or accolades. Not tweets. <laughs> tweets. I would have gotten so, much so many more, more tweets. <laughs> if his legs stay healthy, it would have got a cold disaster. <laughs> Take us home. Number 25 on the field. Number one in your heart. My name is Giovanni Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, baby. Beautiful. The double roll. Beautiful. Not just a one hit wonder. Thank you, GB. Thank you, GB. Thank you for everything. Yeah, can we maybe do a graphic to saying in memory of Giovanni Bernard into the show? For retiring at age 31. <laughs> <laughs> Wish his legs stayed healthier, man. He would have got so much what more tweets. More tweets. <laughs> I was like, right, more money, more. So many more tweets. More playing time, more money. All of it. More touches, more tweets. More tweets. Uh, My God, forever. Yeah. All right. All right. Great All show, right. boys. Oh. See everyone on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Bye, have a good weekend.